Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Prestige Reef Talk Show, where Ryan is being uh, doing some last-minute organising there. <laughs> that was yes, that's exactly what I was doing. I was trying to get a piece of paper actually, but I um, Ooh, okay, picked up my uh, council tax bill because I thought I could write on the back of it, and okay. I can't because it's got more writing on it. <laughs> taking it seriously i like it first thing yeah. to say if you've just clicked on this video because of the thumb the thumbnail that says top 10 tangs i will put uh, tags in the in the description so you can just skip to the, the the top 10 tangs uh that uh that we talk about and the idea of this video for everybody else hello everybody else um is that uh we're going to uh, we've got we've come up with five each and we're going to pitch pit them against each other and then put them to the vote. So you guys get to choose which is the best. And then at the end of this, we'll have 10 tangs in total uh, and uh, and five first place and five second place, if you see what I mean. Uh, and there's no there's no kind of rules. There's no categories. It's not like we've drawn up Acanthorus or Zebrasoma or uh, Centocus or whatever the, the bristletooth ones are called. Senocatus? Whatever they are. There's no categories. <laughs> I actually don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know how you pronounce it. So no, I know. I, I I've got no ideas. It's, it's, it must have a silent T. Tenocatus, I reckon. Is uh, I'm looking at it now. Anyway, there's no categories. We're just going to choose uh, our favourite five tangs. Uh, so that is the plan. <clears throat> First up, as always, and hello everybody in the chat, by the way. Uh, celebrities galore. And I real that. Reef, <laughs> and. Colette's marine tank. Oh, true. And look, look, let's include look, Jamie helps me a lot. Let's just let's just include Jamie's reef. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a celebrity. Just, no, yeah, offense. Yeah. Like, no offense. Close there, enough. But, close yeah. enough. Um, but anyway, uh, so uh what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, first off, member questions. Let me have a look at the uh the just list to of clarify members. something. If they're celebrities, does that mean you're a celebrity? Oh, yeah, I'm the king of celebrities. You're, are you basically... the number one? Actually, you know, are you the number three social media YouTuber in the UK? Never mind social media. Yeah, because I heard YouTube that only. If, if you add up all the subscribers and also Instagram followers, you're number three, aren't you? I mean, I don't know what Instagram is, really. It's and then, and then like Aaron's it's Aquarium's number two, and I think I'm back to being number one, aren't I? No, no, you're not. No, that's rubbish. Uh, I don't, you know, Instagram's overrated, so you know, not interested. Well, what can I say? Um, but uh, but no. no, none of us are celebrities, but hey. <laughs> uh, right, so <laughs> member questions, and let me just refresh it to see if anyone has piped up with last minute ones uh so first off is from tyler evans he says fragging you both always say i just fragged it but we need details from ryan's dropping on the ground to reef dork's red planet dropping on the ground did you drop something on the ground and smash it <clears throat> uh sometimes if it's like i if it's like an encrusting monty on a thin plate mm -hmm. i would i've i have dropped it before just to break it into smaller yeah. pieces, I could fit under the saw. It, it's funny because so I, he says you need, we need details. I, I presume, like as in, how do you frag corals and how do we do it and that sort of stuff. Yeah. But there, there are times when uh, it's real precision, and you might have your, your bandsaw and all this sort of stuff. Or I might be making precise cuts with a, a Dremel diamond blade or that sort of thing. Yeah. But a lot of the time, I literally get a hammer and a, a crowbar yeah. <laughs> and just twat the bastard and if it's a big one and then it splits into several manageable pieces so. <laughs> most of the time I, I use bone cutters for, for things like mm. sps corals even montepore I, I i find they do they frag better with how do cuts. you do that do you crunch through or do you bite and twist bite and twist yeah. unless it unless it's something like a um style of fora. Uh, they, I swear they're like the hardest material on earth style of not the, you know the um like the milker style Hot of milker fort. style yeah, yeah. What, what have you ever tried like so it's the same for like tabling acros because yeah. they get like two inches thick yeah and it's like fragging them is just impossible <laughs> yeah so I usually if, I, if I'm going to do the milker style of fora, either you can get the very end tips where it's not as thick or I put it through the saw um, but most things, yeah, even I, I actually, as I said, I prefer fragging Montepore. The frags aren't pretty in terms of they're not like all uniform, but does it matter? Because no, well, it doesn't because they'll, they'll settle and grow and then, you know, they base out and then they're fine. So and also, no one them. buys two. So most of the time, no one will ever know if, if they've got a pretty one or an ugly one. <laughs> this is very true. Um, but there's, yeah, and Zoas. So Zoas, are, I always, <laughs> I, I don't frag Zoas the right way. So I yeah, think, so just to clarify, because with someone who has actually experienced palytoxin poison, yeah, just yeah. ignore everything about reef dogs about to say for the next 30 seconds. This is a very specific situation in which I do this. So zoas sometimes start to flap off the rock, don't they? If there's if they've grown too much and they need to escape yeah, the yeah. island, they'll start to flap off. And with that, 
I can just sometimes reach in, I just grab them gently and pull them off. Yeah. And there are times if you've got a whole rock of zoas, you can go over and you can you just gently, gently, really gently grip them and tug them. Yeah. <laughs> and and some of them, uh, some of them will come loose. Most of them don't. But and and the ones that come loose, I just rip off, and then yeah. you get a matter of like like I don't know, golf full size zoas. So what you're saying is the people that buy zoas from you, they are getting zoas which have been lovingly fragged very carefully as you rip them off the rock. I mean, no, just... no, that's that's really gentle because it, there's only they, they're already come off. They've already come off, so they, you're just peeling them off the mat, peeling the matting off, and it's great. And but then they'll settle for months anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's true. That's true. Um, so that's how that's that's fragging. But I mean, it, it different frag, different corals. Like LPS are totally different as well. You, you probably yes. use a bandsaw mostly. You don't don't ever ever frag. Um, well, look, some people haven't got a choice. But uh, fragging euphilia with bone cutters is a terrible idea because they their growth they grow like their strength is vertically. It's not horizontally. Which means if you cut them, it can yeah. break all the way to the very top, and then you've killed it. If you break, if you break it, that's it, basically. Jay's real reef did that. He bought a um, uh, a torch, an expensive torch. Yeah. And I can't remember if it was with bone cutters, but he basically cracked it all the way up, and so it split in half. He managed yeah. to super glue it back together, and it survived. <laughs> oh, I was lucky then because yeah, like, yeah. I have done it, and it did, it did not survive. Um, but it's um, <laughs> yeah. There's a. I reckon there'll be a lot of people who have done that. Where even when yeah. they when they take them off the frag plug as well, sometimes that can break them as well. But okay, but I yeah. I use um uh, Dremel diamond tipped blades for um oh. for for those. And the, but the thing is, uh, with the because the normal de the normal Dremel blades are really thick; they're like two millimeters thick, so they're not very good at cutting bone, <laughs> um, which sounds really bad. YouTube yeah. YouTube knows what you're saying; it puts like um closed captions up. Yeah. So it and it uses that as part of its algorithm. So it's saying cutting bone. I bet it's going to be like right. We're so going all to those block all those murders are out there. Are going, to be, <laughs> exactly, going yeah. to be very disappointed at our video. <laughs> I know, but um, but so the, the Dremel diamond blade though, it's about twenty quid each. Uh, so they are expensive, but they're super thin. So they're yeah. really good at cutting um, coral skeleton. <laughs> um, so there's your answer. And the other uh, question was from James, who says, oh, and this wasn't a question. This is uh, this morning I learned that Mobius, uh, the Mobius app doesn't auto up update with British summertime, which is a bit annoying, but it raised a deeper question. Oh, it is a question. <laughs> Do you follow British summertime daylight savings changes to your tanks? Uh, I want my lights to be on when I can see them. But for the corals, this means a change of lighting schedule twice a year. It won't matter. It doesn't make an ounce of difference. No, now, I do because exa that exact reason that James yeah. says I want I want my lights to come on at half past ten and I want them to go off at yeah. half past ten and I want them to be at their brightest. In, in, I mean, it doesn't matter to the coral. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh no, no, it, yeah, that's, yeah. To be and, fair, uh, yeah. I haven't even noticed. I didn't even know that the clocks changed today until I <laughs> until about I think it was about four o'clock. So I, when I woke up, I was like. Why is it? Why did I sleep for yeah. so long? Yeah. I didn't didn't think about anything, and then and then about four in the afternoon, I looked at the at the clock on the kitchen. I was like, "That's weird. <laughs> it's different to my iPhone." And that was when I worked out. But it took all day for me to realize like it, the, the clocks had changed. And I bet there'll be some people who who haven't real oh, armor, maybe not. And I, so I'm wearing a yellow t-shirt today because it is summertime. So oh, I was gonna say normally you wear a black t-shirt because it hides the microphone. I do. I actually but find it abandoned. quite offensive to your microphone. Today. I know, <laughs> right? Yeah um but there we go uh so there we go there, there, those are the questions uh from members and jay just put up a question what makes a, a tang what makes a fish a tang and he looked it up it's a, a fish with a, a scalpel like spine so they're also called surgeon fish yeah that's because right, of yeah. their scalpel but yes yeah, yeah. it's, it's a, just a group of fish and there are various they don't, they don't all have scalpels did you know that i did not know which one which does not I, I, I need to check this. <laughs> I have a look uh, at them. Now. One of them has a if it has got one, it's a, it's a really it's like a like barely there. But the convict tanks have, which is like ironic because they're like shanks, aren't they? And they're called convict tanks, but they they have either nothing or like a very tiny one compared to mm. all the rest of them. The the top fin looks the same as all other um, surgeon fish to me. One second, I'm going to Google it. <clears throat> well, I'll, I'll bring it up because I've got it. Um, I've got it on screen. Maybe I'm That's wrong. All. I'm sure. Shit. I'm sure that they were. They, that's a fact. But maybe I'm wrong. And <laughs> you're about to show me photographic it's, evidence. <laughs> uh, well, 
I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you can tell from that. It looks like it has. Cause that's true. It does look like it has. It's the fin across the back that they use. And that's why That's why if you if you ever see them uh, trying to attack another fish, they kind of go sideways and they point their top fin at the other fish, don't they? No, that's to, like, not. Wait, no, they have, oh, this, this is showing you everyone how much you know about tanks. They have <laughs> a blade on their tail, literally a blade. If you get up a picture of any tang, you'll see it. The, the ones that have it the most are... Um, uh the naso tanks they actually have two blades where <sighs> why are you doing this to me i promise you get up a picture <laughs> of a naso tang or any right. like there see the see the orange bits there those two are two blades which oh are these bits yes they're blades and all of them have that mm. on them that's why they're called surgeon fish Ah, uh, well, I just I just assumed it was their their top fin that was because they yeah. always point them at point. Oh, if okay. you get see, so you couldn't see it on the gem tang very well. Huh. If you get a picture of a yellow tang up, they have a white one. They they, have, they different stuff. ones have different colours. But huh, there you go. You learn something new every day. Yeah, on the sides of their butt. I can't find the yellow yeah. tang. And we'll the comic tank does actually look like it has one. So maybe I was wrong. But oh yeah, it's, look, some, look, someone said yeah. yeah see there that that's why. That's why they're bastards. They go around trying to stab each other. Okay, because it's when they when they when they try to defend themselves or attack something, they they do the, when I see them, they do this as if they're pointing their top fins on them. You obviously so got some dodgy get... ones then. You have got no, ones that don't know how every, to fight. <laughs> every tang, not my tangs, every tang I've ever seen. But anyway, to cool, be fair, you, you don't have many tangs, do you? Uh, no, but even, I mean, I mean, I've I've had a fair few tangs. I've had enough oh. to know that. So, yeah. but that's cool. So there you go uh convicts have a smaller scalpel than others yeah uh but they still do have them there you go interesting stuff um all right well there we go so uh very english attitudes the tangs have i feel Stab like i think they say about the stabbing stuff <laughs> i feel like i'm being discriminated against here <coughs> um but uh there we go um all right so anyway tangs then hang on a second Come on, Alex. I've only been in the hobby. Oh, I knew that, and I've only been in the hobby six months. Yeah, there you go. But that's what's great Every about these streams. School day. We learn stuff. I learned in one of the other stream streams that the Moorish Idols were closely related to them. Didn't know that. Yeah. If someone said to me, Moorish Idols, what are they closely related to? I'd have gone butterfly fish. But yeah, yeah, I was yeah, wrong. Yeah. So. There you go. Uh, and mustard is English. Yeah, okay. Still talking about stabbing outside pubs um all right well let's have a look then so we're going to kick off then number one ryan what's your first oh tang i get to go like? first do i oh good because i i know there's one that you're definitely going to go up against me with um achilles. i'm gonna go achilles tang <laughs> yeah i thought you might you knew i was gonna do this <laughs> uh achilles where is yeah. the achilles tang here she be the funny thing is i have an argument for the achilles tangs and i also have an argument against them so if you had used it i was gonna absolutely demolish you <laughs> because it will almost certainly die within about five seconds of uh yeah, <laughs> of coming out of the ocean if you are a terrible fish keeper then yeah sure they'll die within 30 seconds but unfortunately <coughs> I genuinely believe these are the, the most attractive tangs. They're like the prettiest ones. There is one yeah, which is awesome. like yeah, yeah. which is there, there's one that I would say is close with regards to attractiveness, but um, it changes color as it, uh, as it gets older, so it's not as nice. Uh, whereas these obviously maintain their color. They are you just don't get that that striking contrast in our tanks with other with that many other fish, especially black. Black is a really like a, quite a rare color when it comes to marine fish. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's not like a proper deep black. I, it almost looks kind of a, like a, a a a slightly dark blue at times in the right light. Yeah, and the the big thing with Achilles tangs is they need lots and lots of flow, like loads okay. of it. So they come from like a, like a high oxygen area. So when people are putting them in their tanks and they couldn't keep them alive originally, like at all, it was it was mm. because they weren't getting enough oxygen. Basically, this is why I, I was told. I don't know this okay. for sure. Um, but the other problem with them is they are slightly prone to disease. <coughs> slightly prone. <laughs> the hell. Guaranteed to die of white spot. <laughs> no, I, look, it, look. If you're quarantining your fish, then it's not a problem, is you it? You quarantine you your fish? I no, do well, not. But... <laughs> okay, no one does. Uh, no, oh, look, don't get wrong. I actually know someone who does have an Achilles who d he did quarantine. He's quarantined all of his fish, and he never has. He's never had anything in his tank, as far as I know. Even um, if you quarantine an Achilles, yeah, 
there's no chance there's no guarantee that it'll make it to your tank it'll, there's every chance it'll die in um look uh, they have a whole list of problems but we like in terms of they don't eat they need as i said high flow they need um but this isn't about that you said there was no there was no rules you just said just pick oh, any yeah. fish you like and that's the one i'm yeah, going yeah, for yeah yeah oh, yeah that's and, and, 600 pounds so you can walk around you know when you're you when your mates come over that don't know anything about fish you can point it and go you see that fish i spent 600 pounds on that fish yeah, Got anything just, for six hundred pounds? <laughs> I just think I'm an idiot if I said that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, it's like it's like a status symbol having an Achilles tank because it shows you're a good fish keeper, that you're pest free, and um, that you're loaded. So yeah, that's exactly okay. why neither of us have one. <laughs> I just, so they need a lot of space. They're a cantharus, of course. So yes. they need a lot of space as well, and they're just they're, they're very aggressive, from what I understand. Yeah. Is that have you had one before? Oh, what an Achilles? Yeah. Yeah, I actually did have an Achilles for quite a long time. Okay. Uh, I guessing? had one that came from someone else. I can't, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember exactly what happened. It did <clears> die <throat> of, a, of a parasite or, or, or for some for something like that. <coughs> but I, I got one from someone else's tank where they'd had it for years. And um, yeah, but it is uh, it is one of those fish which I wouldn't recommend people get, but it's still an awesome <laughs> fish. And if, let's put it this way. If you take out all of those problems, and the and the question was, would you have it? The answer is probably yes. The answer is bit would be no. I'll have a powder blue. Powder blues. Wait. So you've come up. You you picked one fish which gets parasites <laughs> and dies easy, and then put it up against another fish which okay, gets you, parasites and dies easy, but it's slightly cheaper. Now. Interesting. Um, no. So I, I figured actually this would be this is this is on my list, uh, and this is a good one to put against the um, yeah uh, the Achilles tank because they're they're fairly similar in that they're both they're both notoriously quite aggressive. They're both notorious uh, ick magnets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're both acanthurus. <laughs> they look not too dissimilar like if you painted them the same color they would look pretty pretty much identical yeah. i need um, to stop you right there because trigger fish has just triggered me he said clown tangs are number one clown tangs are the worst possible tang you can get they're like the assholes of the tang world <laughs> but anyway <laughs> moving back to what do you i just it, like you know yeah. i just need to get that out of my system yeah and uh brian mac as well i need to get this out of my system gold ma gold rim tangs are the poor man's achilles i mean really poor man's achilles they're, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're yeah, completely true. they're a world apart to me um but uh but yeah so the the um the the, the achilles tank i wouldn't have either an achilles or a powder blue but they are they're two of the nicer ones in my opinion the the, the powder blue is a, a, a lighter color so perhaps a bit more striking arguably yeah. but they're, they're both they're both very pretty and well, in well, an well, ideal okay. world i'd have one it might be arguably when you're when you've picked the powder blue tang but not arguably in terms of you know if it's actually factually correct i prefer the achilles tang oh you prefer my one nice yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice well there you go everyone if you want to vote we, we we both have picked the achilles tang but they're both awesome but i wouldn't I, there's no way on god's green earth i'd have an achilles <laughs> uh um, i know i i actually do have a powder blue tang which i've had for seven years i think i think it's about seven years okay. you sort of obviously you see it's big chunky fish isn't it mm. um but occasionally it will it, it it gets a few spots on it like maybe once a year or something and then it sort of just goes away but I don't do anything yeah. to anything special. See, that's the thing. So some of them get that, like this. It's, people refer to it as stress spot, don't they? Some of them just break out in spots. And the, the instant reaction when you see that is, oh, my God, this is a disaster. Yes. But a lot of the time, it doesn't actually seem to be a problem, and they just deal with it. But that would yeah. that would stress me out. <laughs> the, that that is, that is the problem. Um, and sometimes people will see that, and then they'll go, shit like i gotta get everything out mm. and like so and it, and or they and that's that could be the worst thing that you can do sometimes because it make if you've got a stressed fish and you're catching it and then yeah, put it in another exactly. tank it's even more stressed so but yeah um and the, so jay's real reef has asked a question that came up earlier that um disappeared from the chat because the guy posted a couple of days ago what would you say is the minimum tank size for a tang also which tang would be best for small water volumes well we'll come back on to that because there are, we've we've I think we've probably both got small smaller tanks that are good for smaller tanks. Yeah. But um, something so these the live aquaria guide says uh, these the powder blue for example gets to nine inches and needs a minimum of one hundred and twenty five gallons. Uh, which I mean, do you, I've, so I've never had one. One hundred twenty five gallons. That's that, that is, seems small. <laughs> no, no, one hundred twenty five gallons is quite large. I think, isn't it? My tank's one hundred and ten gallons. 
That's is 500 it? liters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a five foot tank, basically. Yeah, but well, I, actually, I suppose because mm, my tank, I've obviously I've had it a six foot tank. But mm. how much difference mm. does like this make in terms of tank size? And most of them come in small. Is is the honest answer? I mm. would put one in a five foot tank, definitely. And I, th I would say thousands of other people would put one in a five foot tank. Mm. That doesn't mean it's right, but they would. So, I wouldn't put one in my tank, four foot tank. But yeah, maybe not a four foot tank. Um, but I would. There are other tanks I would put in there, yeah. and there, there. So in, in um, I did in fact originally in my two foot uh, water box, I put a Zebrasoma Scopas Scopas yeah. tank in there. It died actually <clears throat> after yeah. a few months. That diet maybe stress. Don't know why, but that was they get big and they get a little bit feisty. But for a year or two, he would have been absolutely fine. Probably why a couple. Did you, years. Why did you pick a Scopas out of interest? Only because there are six other way better tanks because it was uh, a that everybody. was when that was before this tank became a display tank yeah. back in the day it was just a frag tank so it was purely functional i just wanted a tank that ate algae and was cheap yeah so i was like zebra same as yeah i don't care they're boring as sin i hate them <laughs> yeah i don't hate them that's unfair but i've got two i think have you but see that's the thing they're boring i don't I, they're not they're not i'd never choose one for a display tank personally yeah it's not my cup of tea but uh, they uh, they do a job. But he died, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, and maybe he died partly because he was in too small a tank. I don't know. But mm. I would I would personally, for short term, a year or two, I would have one in a two foot tank. Smaller than that, and when I say two foot, technically the the fluval Evo is fifty six centimeters, which is like just under two foot. Uh, yeah, the tank police coming after you. You're I wouldn't have. Hanger, yeah, two exactly. tank. They're coming for you. <laughs> I wouldn't have one in that. So that my my two foot water box is about forty gallons or one hundred and fifty liters. Yeah, and that is probably the minimum size I'd want to put one in, and and that is that is short term. I would think a year or two is yeah. is what you because some of them grow some of them grow quite slow, yeah, and some tanks some tanks grow like crazy fast. Sail fins, <laughs> the Desjardins <laughs> sail fins are like I've had all of the zebrazomas except the black mm. tang, and the Ze the Desjardini sail fins grow unbelievably fast in comparison mm. to all of the rest of them. They're they're the Indian Ocean ones. I think they're Indian Ocean. Um, I, I actually literally had in my thousand lead tank, I had all these tanks, some of them were big tanks and I put a tiny two inch, um, uh, Desjardini in. Mm. And then over the course of the next couple of years, it grew to be the biggest fish in the tank. <laughs> it was crazy. like so crazy how fast it grew. So, yeah, but it's not uh, the specific ones don't seem to grow as much. No, um, no. Okay. Valiferum and Desjardini, isn't it? Which is which? Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> Valiferum is are the ones that haven't got all like the yellow spots all over them. The Desjardini is nicer. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Well, it's a matter of opinion, I think, but that's the one yeah. that grows really far. <laughs> Fair enough. So, and, and I prefer the, the Valiferum. The zoo wants common names, not Latin names. Uh, and I'll do that wherever possible, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes it is useful. I say Latin, scientific. <laughs> I don't know if they are Latin. They look Greek to me, those words. But anyway, whatever. Um, Scopax, Scopax, I can't think, says Scopax tangs are nasty. Mine killed anything and everything except my uh, old neon velvet damsels. <laughs> but what else was in the tank with it? Is my question. If you only, if if you had a lots of peaceful fish and had a scopus tang, then of course it's going to be like it's yeah. going to be the bully. Whereas in my tank, that's full of tangs. The scopus tang is like the least aggressive fish. <laughs> but this is why I don't like tangs because no one wants a tank full of tangs apart from you. And, I love uh, tangs and BRS, but um, and they just they're mean to other fish. <laughs> These um, are without a doubt my favorite fish, and I pretty much have all of them. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So, uh, and Ford R Ford Escort. RS 1600 says, Alex, when are you going to learn to QT your fish? And the answer is never. I I, I would, I, I could conceivably see a time when I would do it. Um, but um, I, it would, it would, it would need, I'd need more, a lot more space than I currently have. And yeah. there is, there is enough space in my house for a quarantine tank. Physically, I could fit one in here because people always say, when you say I haven't got space, people are like, yeah, you have. Uh, yeah. you tell me there's no space for a two foot tank in your house, like, yeah, all right, there is physically room for a two foot tank in my house, or yeah. I could take down one of my other tanks, I could do it, yeah. but it would, it's, it, there's not, I don't, I have nowhere that I could put it, even if I had a bigger tank, I'm still not sure I'd actually do it. I just I've don't had, like quarantine. I've had quarantine tanks before, and I, and I, mm. and I, not, I didn't do it properly. This was a long time ago. This mm. was, you know, it's more like an observation, and then you like, you can treat with copper if you need to. 
and that's that's not quarantine these days. What I will say is I genuinely feel less comfortable, not in terms of parasites, but in terms of like the fish's survival, putting in a quarantine tank. I don't know why. I think it, a sterile empty tank that's got no bacteria or anything does not make me feel comfortable. <laughs> that's so that that's my approach. And I don't think this is necessarily the the, the right answer. But I I have quite I did quarantine when I first yeah. got into the hobby. I spent a year and eighteen months maybe trying to figure out quarantine. I tried uh, a few different size tanks. Biggest tank I had was about one hundred and eighty liters, not yeah. a bad size tank. Uh, a few different methods of treatment and all this sort of stuff. I tried observation, none of them worked, and I lost far more fish in quarantine than I did just putting them straight in, plop and drop, <laughs> as they say. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. If you're listening to this or watching this. And you're thinking, all oh, right, I don't need to quarantine then. You need to make your own mind up. You need to research both sides, not just the side of yeah, the people yeah. who say, yeah, you should quarantine. You should also research the people who say don't quarantine. And I think that per I, even if I had a massive house, would I quarantine? Mm, I'd, I think I'd just be even more choosy about where I get my fish. So for me, the ways to the way I avoid or the things I do that avoid quarantine or that I do because I don't quarantine, I choose specimens very carefully which a lot of people don't do yeah uh, and that means uh, i've i've seen dozens of fish that i've thought no they, they don't look quite right or there's a fish in the tank next to them i was gonna say that it's, it's, not, it's like in the same water that has spots or you know yeah you kind of get to to uh, look you, you can always get caught out but you do kind of you start going no i'm not i'm not willing to buy anything in this shop because that one fish has got something wrong with it yeah, indeed. Yeah, uh, and that, so I, I'm choosy with where with where I get fish from. Although that's that's that, I'm not mega choosy with the, the shops. I, I I have bought fish from shops that you wouldn't say are choosy. Yeah, but I make sure the specimens are right. There that I provide a very natural environment. My tank isn't an aggressive tank. There aren't many aggressive fish. My I do have a, a coal tank who is a little bit spicy at times, but even he's fine, really. Yeah. None of the other fish are, are, are aggressive. There's loads of hiding space. I don't have too many fish. I feed the fish well. Yeah. Um, I don't run UV anymore. I used to run UV, but I don't anymore. But that was one yeah. of the things that I did um, partly because I don't quarantine. So, See, I'm thinking about um, doing UV on the the um the angelfish tank i don't know why because i don't have it on the coral farm mm. um but it obviously it does uv does work i just i'm not i'm not sure why i have a feeling i just have this desire to do it for some reason but if you don't keep up with the bulb replacements which we both know what i'm like with maintenance <laughs> then it doesn't work anyway yeah yeah <laughs> and yeah you've got to replace quite regularly but i mean what six months to a year yeah not that hard. but the, you oh, need you i need don't know it. but you, yeah okay <laughs> anyway <laughs> Um, and uh, Brian Mac says they're Latin names. They are Latin names. The reason I said they look Greek is because, like, when Acropora, Acropora, Acropolis, that to me looks Greek. But anyway, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> um, and we've potentially stumbled on a, um, a prickly subject going around with um, uh, what's it called? With Someone just said said something. I've lost it. It says I. Th this, this won't be exactly what it is because I can't find the comment. But they basically said, um, "I thought that you can only have one tank and put one tank per tank, and that is that is a very an old school method of of thinking." Well, Jamie has uh, that, seventeen tanks. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. So yeah, but Jamie's tank is bloody massive. Tank. Enormous yeah. tank. but it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Trust me. We look at his seventeen tanks. You don't. You, it doesn't look like that tank is crowded. Um, it's not the tanks that make it look crowded anyway. It's all the damselfish. <laughs> I'm sure he's got either like 30 or 60 of them. It's Mustang and Salty. I, I thought yes. as a general, you shouldn't have uh, more than one tang with another tang. That is an old school method of thinking. Um, and I, th people say that an odd number of tangs make, um, uh, is, is if you have them as an odd number, it's better. I don't know if fish can count or if they'll, if you have three or four is, which is better or worse. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, it just comes down to uh, aggression distribution. So they they sort of like they hate all they hate each other rather than just hating one. <laughs> mm. so, that, so that's basically what it is. So if you have just two tanks, they'll fight each other. If you have three, they'll fight more evenly. It's a bit like um, cichlids in the freshwater yeah. world, where that you just cram in as if you get three, they'll fight. If you cram yeah. in a hundred, <laughs> they're fine. So what you're saying to people is you should cram in a hundred tangs. That's what you in heard a, that here, didn't you? In a flu said, lever, cram a hundred tangs in. 
<laughs> word for word what I'm saying. Uh, and Carlos Lopez, super chat uh, for two bucks, says, I only have a, a Valiferum and a Tomini in a 450 litre. I need more. So my tank is about 450. Yeah. I have a coal tank and that's it. I don't have a, a Zebra Soma. I do like the Valiferums so though. They're nice. Hmm. Uh, but there you go. And there was another question that I saw back up that I'm just going to scroll up to. This is from Steve Webb. Controversial subjects galore tonight. Uh, Alex, you touched on a subject that I've wondered. Keeping fish that will get too big for you, for your tank, knowing that you'll have to rehome them. It's a no-no in the freshwater world. Yeah, but in the freshwater world, those things get like the size of cars. Some of We're them. talking catfish <laughs> that, that, that get absolutely enormous and plecos that even that get huge as well. I don't know if plecos are a type of catfish. But anyway, in, yeah. And, and so in the freshwater world, what's the, the tiger something or other? I can't remember. But there are loads of fish that are proper. They're called tank busters, aren't they? They're yeah, massive. Yeah. Whereas well, in Paku, Pacus, you know, those big, they're like giant piranhas, I think they're called. I think maybe. Called. I, don't PAC, really know. I, think. I don't really know about freshwater, but um, but uh, there are loads of fish that get huge. Even like, did you ever see the, the knife fish? They were called knife fish. Yeah, I think they're like what, is it ghost silver knife white. Fish. Look and really they, cool. Like a long, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, they're, they're like three inches long in the shop and then they grow to like two feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, that's really common. There are loads of freshwater fish that get massive but even the yeah. clown loaches they're like an inch long when you buy them and they get two feet long they're huge and the difference with that is that if you if you talk if you try to rehome a bloody three foot catfish yeah <laughs> there is no public aquariums won't take them it's and, the, re and, the red tail catfish are the big ones aren't they that's what they are yeah yeah, yeah. And have you ever seen a full-size red tail catfish only like at the zoo i've I seen think. them on like fishing programs yeah. man they are and they're they're yeah i wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of one but See, so it's and I was going to say, it's interesting because in the freshwater world, it's totally acceptable. It's not necessarily acceptable. It's, it's regularly done that you get these massive fish in tiny forms in shops and they sell them. Whereas mm. the equivalent yeah. would be like um, a golden trevelli. And although you do very rarely see golden trevellies in the shops, do you know what golden tre trevelli is? I think I do, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay. So that's the equivalent where they get bloody massive. So you very oh, yeah. rarely see them, but I have seen them in a shop before. Yeah, okay. And that uh, and look downs. You ever seen look downs? Yeah, they yeah. Tanked all the time. They get yeah. big. Um, but there, so there's ugly. yeah. We sorry. <laughs> ugly fish. They are ugly. So we don't get many fish that get that big. There are some. Yeah. Uh, but the reason it's frowned upon, I think I've, I'm speaking for a group of people who, who I don't represent really and who I don't know enough about. But the reason I think it's more frowned upon is because that you can't just rehome them easily. Whereas if, if I have a tang that's six inches long, I can rehome that in a heartbeat. That's no problem. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's so I don't have a problem with that. And I, I personally don't think that's there's no moral issue. Of, yeah. of should I get a tang knowing that I'm going to move on after two years? I think that's totally fine. You, someone other people might think differently i think that's fine i'm all right with that. yeah as long as yeah, that's the thing as long as you're willing to to move it on um that i don't see a problem and trust me there's always some crazy person out there that's got a 12 foot tank <laughs> they yeah. just there's just plenty of them around people that are just mental <laughs> yeah it'll be me at some point <laughs> indeed all right well uh we'll move on to the next one so next one will be my uh my choice oh you're going first this time mine nice yeah Correct. Okay. Um, and right, hang on. <laughs> Where's my goddamn list? Uh, documents, Google Docs. Oh, nice okay. I'll just go first. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, shall I go? What shall I go for? I'm going to go with the yellow tang. I knew you were going to. I knew at some point Holy this was going to come up. I knew at some point this was going to come up. And so I'd already prepared what I was going to go up against. It's going to be a very even fight because I'm going to go for a purple tang. Um, <laughs> because a purple tang is basically just a better version of a yellow tang. It's a worse version of a yellow tang. No, it's a better version of the yellow tang. And not only that, I can prove it. I can I can prove it. A yellow tang used to be twenty pounds or thirty pounds. So yeah. and they've gone and, up because they're so good. No, they hundreds. went up because of because you couldn't get them anymore. If you, Because if, they're so good. That was the only reason they went up. Whereas a, a purple tang has always been a prized expensive fish. So that's it, basically. That's Job probably done. something no to do point. with. That's probably something to do with collection. <laughs> no point Isn't doing it? the. No point doing a poll. I think we've now decided that the purple tangs are better. They've got these beautiful patterns and stripes and spots on their faces. You can see, and they've got they've got that little hint of yellow. That little hint of yellow, like on the tail, just to go. 
I used to be yellow tang, <laughs> but then I realized yeah. it was shit, so I turned purple. <laughs> They're rubbish. They can't grow enough yellow. They grow a little poxy tail. No, is that it? No. Also, you did got? you know that? Did you know that um, purple tangs are supposedly? I don't know this as a scientific fact, but I'm going to tell it as a f- scientific fact. <laughs> they are the the hardiest of all the zebrazoma tangs. Um, I can I can is that gar- because they're super aggressive and they'll batter anything. No, in terms of um, hardy, in terms of like disease resistance. So I've, mm. I've I, as, as you know, I've had one for 15 years. Who has a fish for 15 years? It's as simple as that. Loads of people. Clownfish live through, 30 years. That has been through. Yeah, but clownfish are also really hardy. <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do yellow tanks. Yellow tanks live years. No. Uh, Les says, are pal- purple tanks ass bags? And they are. But I mean, all tangs are to be fair. But my my purple tang was a dick, and I had to move him on because he was just aggressive. That's because um, you didn't you didn't speak to him nicely enough. You know, he had some emotional issues um, that he needed. Like, You've to... got emotional issues if you're <laughs> whispering to your fish at sweet nothings. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, to be fair, and the, the oh, the, so the poll for the last one, by the way, you won. I can't remember. I yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, the 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 Achilles tang is better than the um, uh, than the than the one I chose, powder blue. And this well, one, I, I I also and I so I preferred your fish last time around. <laughs> I also actually prefer your fish this time out. <laughs> oh really? Because I, I bought a purple tang um, when yeah. I had a choice of any. I wanted a zebra salmon, and I chose the purple tang because I think they look cool. Yeah. And actually, I only got rid of him because he was aggressive, and I, I went for a white tail coal tang because it was the closest looking thing. To a purple tang. There, there are, um, I don't know if you w- would have had this because we were at different ages when we started. But so I, when I, when I first started, I, I had basically like no money at all. And it was like a really, uh, remember, obviously my first tank was, was for free and I set out basically for nothing. <laughs> so when I spent, I think it was 112 at the time, on a, it was that really big deal for me to spend that sort of money on something. Mm. Is there a fish in your past which, where, where you've gone, I want it so bad, badly enough that, <coughs> that I'll, I'll buy it? Do you see what I'm trying to say? We're, we're Obviously, like, you were a bit further along money in your life wise. than I was. That's the thing. I, I yeah. was, yeah. Um, you were already loaded, like, weren't you, when you started? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, loaded, but I wasn't like I'm a joking. student. <laughs> no, yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, so in terms of money, no, I don't, there's no fish. The most expensive fish, fish I've ever bought was a whitetail cold tang, and it was about yeah. 250 quid. Yeah. But it's that wasn't one that I was like, I've got to have this. God, it's so amazing. It was just, I just wanted a small tang, and I wanted yeah. one that looked a bit like a purple tang. Or the oh, no, I, to it. I really, really wanted the purple tang. And I, I, I just, I just remember, I actually drove like, I think it was like an hour and a half as well, which is, again, at the time was quite far for me to go get a fish. Yeah. Um, there, there are and, fish that, uh, that I've wanted that badly, but not not it's not be, I've not been put off by the price before. Most yeah. most of the fish that I really like, uh, 50, 60 quid, yeah. maybe less. So that, like, <laughs> <laughs> so the copper band, just yeah. that I just I've I've got one now. I've, he's healthy. He's a couple of years old, or well, I've had yeah. him a couple of years, and I I've, I had to have one because they're just so amazing. Yeah, um, and even like the scarlet hawkfish, just, they're so awesome. I absolutely <laughs> love them. I th- I am considering a hawkfish for for the angelfish tank only because you like them so much. <laughs> they're quite jumpy. Hey, but I'm, I'm, oh, trust me, that angelfish jumpy. Oh, you like, you are getting a lid, right? I didn't. I yeah, didn't I'm getting a lid like, definitely because. Like, cool. Imagine finding that angelfish crusty on the floor. Yeah, actually, the we had this conversation yesterday. I came yeah. down to visit the farm. Didn't I? <laughs> That's true. You did, didn't you? Um, but there we go. And. First ever viewer from Alaska that I'm aware nice. of. AK Reef 907. Hello, welcome. Um, but yeah, so we're going to end the poll 60 40 in favor of the purple tank, uh, which is, uh, I, I'm slightly surprised actually, if I'm honest. Uh, I thought the yellow tank was more popular, but I agree. I, um, I think that we have, uh, I think that is better. Oh, and Carl's Fish Cave says, I was, about to, I was about to say that. <laughs> I'd say, but Yerple, best of both, or just basically a shit version of both. Or, yeah, <laughs> it's expensive, or... but they're not that nice. <laughs> no, I still wonder if they might end up looking awesome because even like Polo's Polo Reefs ones, yeah, even his are they're, they're not adult colors yet. They, they're, they're still look, they look a bit drab, it's but they're mate, not, isn't it? That is my mate, actually. Yeah, my best yeah. mate um but he uh but yeah they're, they're still not adult colors so they still have they still might turn out to be awesome but it's not looking good at the moment yeah um but anyway all right so there we go we've done uh we've done that 
what's your next choice uh, wine uh, from Prestige Reef? The UK's number one coral selling chains. website. <coughs> I didn't hear what you said then. The UK's number one coral selling web website. Oh, Prestige can we just repeat that again? Reef. Prestige Reef, go buy some coral. www.prestigereef.co.uk <laughs> exactly. um, The, what would I go for? Okay, okay so this, I put this on the list. This is actually one of the tangs I have never actually owned. Not because I don't want one. I've, I've never actually, you don't see them very often. And it's a Chevron tang. And it's a juvenile for Chevron tang. Because before I, <coughs> I know what you're about to do. Oh, thanks. That's I'm so about, nice. I'm about to put a banner across the bottom of the screen. We should have that there permanently. I quite like that. Go to UK for all your coral buying needs. That's what I'm about to do. Basically, if you want to advertise on this on this live stream, like Alex is doing now, then you know, get in contact. Basically, yeah. Most people will have to pay, but you uh, you give up your time. So that's true. Oh, thanks. And oh, I, and I like your coral. So I came down to to buy a, a couple. I bought three, didn't I? You bought did. A couple yes. of chalices. Very nice chalice. And there's a chalice that's not on your website yet. That you're correct. It's not on the website. That's true. Yeah, which it needs to go on because it's nice and people. That just shows it. how lazy I am. <laughs> it does. Anyway, uh, Chevron tank. So this was Chevron one. On, tank. This was one that was on my list as well. So I have never owned a Chevron tank. Um, okay. I, the reason I've never owned them because when I, the last time I saw one was a long time ago, and it was like two hundred pounds or something. I think there is. I'm not going to. Look, I can. Okay, my first argument is that it was on your list already, so you you can't say anything bad because <laughs> because it's a nice fish. There is one downside to them; they change. So some tangs don't ever change color. <laughs> no, no. Well, 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 that's a that's not even a very good picture of, of a juvenile. Well, you can get some right. like you get some well nice pictures of juveniles. So I see what you're doing. Um, I'm just that's my <laughs> life aquaria. <laughs> uh, but uh, they. Um, they, they so some tangs don't change color very often in captivity, whereas these ones seem to change color every single time for some reason, uh, and they and they also change re like relatively quickly. So yeah, you buy this expensive, pretty, like amazing colored fish, and then it turns black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be. They're still nice as adults. They actually, if not in terms of the coloration, but if you zoom in on the pattern on them, they're actually really quite nice. But they're they're not. Um, yeah, it's obviously not in comparison you'd have, to the juvenile. Uh, you'd have to look close up to see um uh, uh to, to to appreciate an adult. They do they do look boring, but they are nice. And you're right, that's not the best photo. Yeah. I've not deliberately chosen it, but that's not the best photo for Junior. Uh, and I'm gonna pitch my mate uh, I, I knew you were gonna pick that. <laughs> the white tail coal tank. Because look at that. And you'll remember the other week we did a, a, a the best 10 best reef tanks on YouTube. Yeah. And you chose Angelica Reef. Yeah, who had an awesome fish collection. One Not because of, whom, of that fish, one of that, which that, was that. this beautiful specimen right here with a yellow eye, burgundy no. body, stripes, spots, and no. a white tail, yellow on his tail. What more? Do you, blue lips. He's got lipstick. <laughs> no, no. In a, when it's in a tank, it's basically brown. Um, no, it's not. Have... They look so good in in the flesh. They look so in the, good in the right lighting. And if if it's if it's lit under quite white light, like your tanks. Um, they are. You can see the pink really well under the yeah, blue it's lights. Funny that you think my light, my lights are so white. They are. They're really they're white so compared blue. to most people. <laughs> but like that. So it's it, they're just they're, they're they're a blue white. It's just that they're. All, I have them blue in the evenings. But anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I I agree. They they they're quite a nice pink color. Um, but I mean <laughs> they're not in comparison to like a chevron tank. Whoa, like. Yeah, that gets dull and drab and goes boring after six months. <laughs> yeah, and costs I'm... five times the price. Uh, well, firstly, it's double the price. The price is less than double the price. It's literally on the screen. Never let um, the truth get in the way of a good story. Yeah, that's yeah, true. <laughs> that's true. But uh, I think we should get a better picture of a Chevron tank. Look, only because I think people should see just how cool that fish looks. And this is, so this is, uh, so AH says the price is on these fish. Yeah, and oh. these are. These are pricey fish. And this is the, so one of the things with the fish that we've talked about so far, I don't think I'd pay 500 quid for a Chevron tank. Nice though they are, um, I wouldn't pay that money. That's crazy money for a, a fish like that for me. Uh, would you? Uh, not. No, I, I wouldn't pay that sort of money for, for a Chevron um, tank. It's too expensive. How are, you, how are you winning this poll? I'm surprised. Smashing the poll because these get how? boring. Because uh, those, those Look at fish... That. Look no, 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 go go for that picture. Go for the what the other one. This one. No, not that one. Go oh, back. For heaven's sake. So fussy. Look, look at literally the picture there. Like, there's like three of them on the left. This left. One. Le left. Uh, or right for your screen. 
Right. This one. No. The opposite side. <laughs> this one. That one, yes. <laughs> that looks rubbish. That's no, not. Mate, it looks amazing. And that, look how junior that is. It's so small. That is a nice fish. Mm, that is... That's boring. That's, no. I don't like that. No, that is a nice fish, and and the purple and the orange contrast. Look, I'm I know I'm losing this one, but I think I think I'm losing this one out of pity for you more than anything. I mean, even even I voted for you. So the, okay. the white, so the the white, I do really like the the, the white tail. I've lost. Uh, I've I've tried to use it before, and it's cost me. No one ever yeah. votes for him, but I really like them, and that because they are that photo is. Uh, very well lit. It looks like it might have been even taken with a flash or something because yeah. you see the, the the body really well. But yeah. what I find most of the time, the white tail just has this. Deep, it's just got this deep burgundy purple color. That's all you see. And then every now and then, it turns in the light and you see the like the red underneath its skin. Yeah, I'm it sorry, but Brian, so cool. Brian Mack has has summed up basically how I feel. Second last comment. No idea how Alex is winning this one. Who's <laughs> better fish? No. But, uh, and Chef Cannon, Canine Cannon, says, as a coral nerd, I wouldn't pay for either. No, th look. I they... did pay for either. <laughs> so. This hobby has got extortionate. Like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like, in, in the last, as I say, well, 15, even 10 years, even probably five years, mm. I, I swear, as soon as the yellow tangs went up, it was like everything started getting out of control. <laughs> The, and the other, so the like cost of living generally in the UK and probably around the world, I don't know so much, but in the UK, cost of living yeah. has gone crazy and everything is more expensive. Yeah. COVID hit, uh, the cost of a container went up tenfold, all these sorts yeah, of, of course. things. Yeah, of course, yeah. But nothing seems to have reset after COVID. You would have expected COVID eases off, everything goes back, maybe not quite to what it was before, but goes back. But that didn't seem to happen. And then you had bloody Putin invading um, yeah. Ukraine, going crazy. And that pushes everything up because of oil, that's, gas. That's, that oh, yeah, that's true. If you think about it, although originally during COVID, the main issue was actually the cost of flights and the ship. There weren't as many flights. Yeah, there, there, yeah. there, yeah. there was no shipping space. Mm. So that's why corals went, the cost of corals and went up. And demand everything. Products went up hugely in COVID yes. because everyone was buying stuff. <laughs> Whereas now it's the electricity, which is like hammering us because obviously everyone, me, shops, like even the hobbyists, you're, it's like yeah. it's, it hurts. So you but have shops to in particular, money. they have to pay a fortune. Their rates have all gone up massively. And so, yeah. and they've got to, and, and like the importers, everyone is paying, this is an energy hungry hobby. Yeah. So everyone suddenly is paying more money. So if the shop is paying more money to yeah. keep the exact same fish, it costs the same to import or 20% more, but they're, they're having to pay a, double the, the price to run the place. Yeah. To keep the lights on so everything's but you're right it's, everything's gone the prices in this hobby have gone crazy i it, i wonder if it's all hobbies that like is it is this the same in the reptile hobby is this the same in like the bird keeping hobby it would make sense to an extent i but i was just about to say if, if i got so when i got into the hobby i spent a thousand pounds on my first tank including for most i think that was uh i still need to spend a bit more money i think i spent two grand all in everything yeah. Lights, lights, power head, flow, skimmer, the works, live rock, yeah. everything. Two thousand pounds. Yeah. And that for me, I saved up for about two years for that. That was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And I was I wasn't I was like, do I want to do it? I wanted to do it properly, three foot tank, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And I so I, and I took the plunge. If I were to do the same thing today, yeah, I would I wouldn't want to price it up, but it would be the tank oh. would probably be fifteen hundred quid. So I don't know if I and, and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly because now like the, the position i'm in now yeah. there is no money i won't spend on the hobby within reason you know if, I, yeah. if, I, if i've got it i'm spending it because I'm, I'm addicted to it yeah but if i but back when i was setting up and i was thinking oh i don't know am i going to enjoy it i would have been a lot more reluctant so i bet there are a lot more people who are, are more cautious about jumping into such an expensive hobby oh definitely definitely i think also people are closing their tanks down because yeah. because of the electricity which means it, then the fish shops are losing customers as well so <laughs> if um if 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 there's less people in the hobby the fish shops to make the same amount of money have to sell things for a higher cost to, to fewer people you seem confused yeah. by something you've obviously no, just seen something that's shocked no, you no, no no it's fine um but yeah sorry, sorry I, was, I was reading comments <laughs> oh. but um but yeah i don't know it's uh it, it, it has it has been great i don't know about um other other hobbies and that sort of it would make sense i guess but i, I have no idea about reptiles it, reptiles doesn't just doesn't appeal to me a lot of people have reptiles and freshwater fish but just for whatever reason just not my cup of tea i don't do anything 
they sort of just lie there most of the time. But you can comes. interact with them more, can't you? You can't pick up a fish and like put it on your shoulder. You can I with a I don't want to pick up a, a bearded dragon and put it on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. I, it was odd. But someone pointed this out to me a little while ago. I like pets that I can't touch. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I like I would have um, dart frogs. I've had fish. I used to keep bees, like like pet bees. I feel like Freud would have something to say about that. <laughs> I don't know. I just, as I said, I, I'm not sure what that means. I know, I know, obviously who Freud is, but I'm not sure what you're suggesting. Like a psychologist, psychiatrist would would be like, oh, so you don't like to touch things? Mm, interesting. Mm, maybe. Um, yep. But at the, so we're doing some some controversial topics tonight, and I'm going to go balls deep here. So Dragon Hunter says China is keeping 90 percent of the containers. Uh, all right, so uh, I do, costs or whatever, I don't know. I, I think he's saying they're artificially keeping um, uh, the cost of containers. Like, whatever. The reason I clicked on that is because I feel since uh, Russia invaded Ukraine yeah. and with all the talk of China and Taiwan, and I'm going to try not to get too political, but yeah. <laughs> bear with me. I thought it was about get, fish. <laughs> it is. And it is. It's about, I, get, I feel more and more uncomfortable about brands like Jekod and Jabao and buying Chinese stuff. I've got, so the thing is, yeah, the th but the thing is, so m most Chinese people and Chinese companies yeah. are uh, are all the same as the people and companies in every other place in the world. They're, they're, yeah. they're 90, 99 percent of people in every country are nice. It's yeah. the Chinese Communist Party that I get a bit um, bit t twitchy about because if they were to invade Taiwan, for example, that's yeah. a problem. And if they, and they're currently Do starting they invade... to oh. sorry. No, I think the internet lagged then, so I, okay. I didn't hear you talking. But so um, that would be a problem. And if they were to if they were to start supporting Russia and providing weapons, yeah, I don't know. It's I, I'm getting me mega um, kind of political here, but it so just makes me more. What you're worried about is if they invade Taiwan, and then yeah. and then we don't like it or America don't like it, they're going to turn the pump on your fish tank off. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, nothing to do with that. I just don't like the idea of supporting. Um, Chinese companies, oh, I, but the trouble is, like, yeah. even if I were to stop I, buying Jekod pumps, see. for example, even if I would stop doing that, all yeah. like there are so many products that are, are made or use parts from China, so you just can't do it. But I just, it just makes me uncomfortable um, a little bit. And there are times when I look at it and I think, do I want to buy a Chinese pump that's cheap, or do I want to buy something that's made in America or Italy or Germany? And I would yeah. rather support. And I've never really thought about. I've never thought like that before at all. But with the yeah. world going so pear shaped and all that sort of stuff, it just makes me think. Mm. It's interesting. I never, I would never have put you down as someone that thinks <laughs> that, 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 that <laughs> yeah. would have. You, see, you understand what I mean? I wouldn't have thought you would have took, um, that paid any attention to that. If you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I would have thought you'd go, "Yep, yeah, I want that pump. That pump will do." Yep, yeah, it doesn't matter where it comes from. But that's what I, I like. That's that's the way I've always been in in the past. It's just since because yeah. it's just so bizarre to have a, a war on your doorstep as a european yeah yeah i agree so but anyway um right we're gonna we're gonna move on from that <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like some... swiftly i <laughs> know yeah sorry that's my fault oh wait, so, is this some... gonna be a re is this gonna be a regular feature alex's no. um political war updates or political yeah, yeah, yeah. opinion <laughs> There's um, no, there's uh, uh, someone mentioned Brexit earlier as well. We're gonna steer. I know, I saw of... that. I, was that what you made your face like this earlier? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what you're saying, but anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, and Jay's real. Re oh, no, 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 he's talking about Brexit, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll move on. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna end the poll because I've won 118 votes. People love white tail coal tangs, uh, and 67 69% white tail coal tang, 30% chevron tang. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Uh, but... And Errol Sullivan, would you stop buying Red Sea company uh, products because it's an Israeli company? No, I would not. That's totally, uh, totally different for me. But anyway, um, right. Next, move on. Ryan, quick, talk about a fish. Oh no, you put me on the spot. Is it, isn't it your turn first? I said Chevrolet Tang. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. In, in which case, uh, we will move on. And uh, so we've had. What have I done so far? Oh, Desjardins. I do. I do Desjardins. No, no. You know what? I am going to go for one that I know you. Oh, actually, no. It's you're you're weird about this fish sometimes. So it is a zebrasoma tang that is stunning, and I know you have invested a significant amount of money in one in the oh, past. It's got to be a gem tang then. Bosh, boom, twelve hundred quid for that one dollars. Okay, here here is my uh, response. Would you buy that tang yourself? Yeah, you would. I wouldn't okay. pay twelve hundred. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yeah, I'd pay 50 quid for it. No, I mean, would you actually no, no, no. go out and buy that tang? 
Oh yeah, yeah. I would buy a because they're in the UK. They're about three hundred quid now. Yeah, I've that's, got one. And that's not that's not expensive. I know you have, yeah. But I, no, yeah, well, so, very, yeah, so well, you 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 agree with me? <laughs> no, I have one. What I will say is that once you've got one and you've seen it for a period of time, you just, it doesn't feel special. I don't know why. It just it like you know the angelfish that I just got, which obviously is like a, it's an expensive fish. Yeah. Um, that fish is. I, I don't know if it, if it will wear off over a period of time. That fish looks like a special fish with its yeah. like tiger stripes. This looks like a black fish with white spot. <laughs> really? Why, I why did you spend a thousand pounds on one of them? I was nine hundred is what I paid um, oh, originally. Right. You spent pounds. And, it, on and, and, and I, to be fair, I actually traded it for coral. I so nonetheless. Either way, yeah. Well, if you think yeah. about, it, I could have had nine hundred pounds in my pocket, or I could have. Um, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. Just the same. Um, I, Do you it, not it, like I, them? Do you not like gem tanks? I have always really? wanted to own all yeah, seven, yeah. all seven zebra zoma tanks, um, and I have. I've got six of them, but I have never had um, a black tang. Um, it would be funny oh, if I went up against you with a black tang for this one. <laughs> I was going to say, is that what you're going to go for? That's not what I'm going to go for. Um, I'm actually going to go for a Soho tang because I actually really like Soho tangs. Um, I actually I have two Zoho, Soho tangs. They are. Um, they're nice. Oh, I, fell, I fell asleep because of the boring fish you were talking about. No, what, Soho what tangs are amazing. Um, but I don't know what it is. As I said. I feel special about that King Eye Angel fish. It might be because I've only had it for a month, um, <laughs> but I don't feel special about the gem tang. In fact, you, did you see the gem tang yesterday? Uh, no. It's, it's because I have it in the bottom tank where I'm not that interested. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Actually, the reason it's in the bottom tank is because it's only with one other fish. What you I must do... have liked it at some point. Oh, it, no, it's because it was, it's one of those fish where I, where I looked at it, I went, oh, I'm never going to have a gem tang. That's way too expensive. Right, okay. And then, and then, as you get older or whatever, it becomes available to you for whatever reason. As I said, I what actually happened was I traded coral with someone. Um, uh, like they spent a lot of money. I think they spent nine hundred pounds on coral, and then I had nine hundred pounds in my hand from him. Yeah. And then I was at the fish shop, and I was like, "Oh, go on, then I'll take it." <laughs> but Do you know what? That's I, the thing when it comes to to fish as a currency. Yeah. If you if you sell or corals as a currency, if I sell a load of corals. Yeah. Uh, and if I've got 400 quid in my hand, because I've sold a load of corals, for example. Yeah. That doesn't feel like 400 quid. That just feels no. like that feels like monopoly money. It's just, that's just a yeah. bunch of tokens. Whereas if you give me 400, if my employer gives me 400 pounds, I'm like, <gasps> 400 quid, yes. Yeah, it's, but if it's, it's if I've sold corals, it's just like, oh, right now, this is something that I can go and give to someone else and I can get more corals of them. Guilt-free yeah. spending is what it's it is. brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it is guilt-free spending. Um. I, as I said, it's, it's a close vote, by the way. It's, I know. It's more or less yeah. 50 50. Guys, carry on voting. Let's get <laughs> I just, as, like, as I said, gem tangs are quite expensive. Soho tangs are, they're, they're one of those fish that people like. Uh, uh, Christine is probably in, in here somewhere. She better be um, voting because Christine keeps trying to buy my Soho tank. <laughs> they're massive, aren't they? Don't they get enormous? I have a small one and I have a massive one. Um, really? one I think it's about a foot long, the one I've got. Um, so it is, it is, a, it is a big. It's a big fish for a big tank, but in terms yeah, of not no, really, no, <laughs> no, no more aggressive than any other tanks. <laughs> but they yeah, are, yeah. they are, they can be a little bit aggressive. But gem tanks are well aggressive. Did you know that? I'm not. I'm not. So, yeah, I'm not trying to trying to win this one. I, yeah, but no, no I'm, I'm, I, I bet they are. There's every same. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if so, I I don't know what this is. You can keep multiple purples in the same tank. You can keep multiple yellows in the, the same tank. You put multiple gem tanks in. I guarantee you, they want like Blood like. Yeah, they really, really hate each other. Um, mm -hmm. I know someone who's done it, and they had to remove them because. So imagine, imagine. And this was when they were expensive. So they bought, I think, three nine hundred pound fish, and then they had to get rid of two of them. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. Uh, someone, someone's asked for a good picture, and I think they mean of the Soho tank. So I'll put a better picture. Uh, a better one. Yeah, that's a well nice picture of a Soho tank. It's got yeah, a it's job. too nice. But they, they get according to Live Aquaria, they get one foot four inches long. You do realize you put a picture of a clown tank up, don't you? Is that a clown tank? Oh my god, that's a clown oh, tank! For heaven's sake! <laughs> uh, you're, you're really showing uh, your knowledge on tanks. I know they all look. The, they do look the same, to be fair. But this is Google. You are definitely uh, colorblind because that is like yellow no, and blue. Uh, but they're they're very similar to someone who is this. Which which one is this? <laughs> all of those are clown tanks. Every single one of them. A clown tank. Yeah. I've, I've but I've searched. 
hang on. <laughs> You've I've tried to search. Anyway, whatever. All right, your fish is rubbish, so suck it. Up. <laughs> I think this is a fair fight when you put a picture of a clown tank up, the one that everyone hates. I googled Sohal tank, and now it's changed it to Acra Acantheris lineatus, which I think is the the clown tank. Yeah, I think it is. But anyway, um, but yeah, so the, the so you say you think gem tangs are aggressive, or you you found them to be aggressive? I've never had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gem tangs are aggressive. Mm. Okay, I just think that I think they're stunning. Someone said, and I've missed the comment. Someone said they were a, a poor man's black tang. I think I, black tangs don't do anything for. They me. didn't they used just... to be. Black tangs used to be five hundred no. pounds, and gems used to be yeah. one thousand two hundred. So, but gem tangs, they they really stand out to me. I think they look absolutely awesome, and I would I would have one of those. Apart from the fact that they're aggressive, and I think that might if I had the, like a six foot tank, for example, yeah, the aggressive the aggression might put me off. Um, I still might not have any tangs, actually. Oh, no, I'd probably have one tang, but in a six-foot tank, I don't know. One tang? No, you wouldn't. If you had a six-foot tang, you'd be full of tangs. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No, I'd have I'd have two or three rabbit fish. <laughs> I'm um, I might, I'd, have, I'd have a tang, maybe two tangs. Yeah. But rab I just prefer rabbit fish. I just don't like aggression at all. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, tangs probably aren't for you, then. <laughs> no, no, indeed. Um, doesn't this stress you out when when fish are getting aggressive and chasing and nipping and like proper aggressive? Yeah, but they don't. They doesn't happen. Like it happens at first for like a week. But if you put them in an acclimation box, they're fine. But generally speaking, mm. like after that, there's no like hardly any aggression. Remember, I've got. I think I've got like thirty tangs, and I never see any aggression ever. And no, my no, toe no. hole, which is a foot long, is with other acanthus tangs, which are like three inches, and it doesn't. It's not interested in them. It's probably if you too put a new, you introduce a new fish. You're if I put a new fish in there, oh, they're like, <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> I found in my experience with tangs is that there are some fish they just don't like. And they're, they're, like my coal tang, my white tail coal tang, a lot of people will, will report that a white tail coal tang is an extremely aggressive fish. Yeah. Mine hasn't been. But with a couple of fish, he's yeah. been, he's, he killed a Mikoska's ras and he killed my Naoko ras, chased them to death. Second, they came out of the, the um, their cave. He yeah. was on them like proper nasty, yeah. and they weren't they weren't introduced after him. They were just there. So they were just for, or one of them was interesting, but some some of them are just nasty. <laughs> I think Alex has been smoking something. <laughs> smoking something. Uh, Alex has been smoking. Why? 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 Oh, because of the the pictures. <laughs> Maybe. Oh no no no, no. six foot yeah, tank yeah. and no tanks. I'd probably have a couple of tanks, but I wouldn't have a ton of tanks. Don't, I don't like aggression. <laughs> My ultimate tank has one has seven zebrasomas. It one of each of the official types. So mm. I'm not talking about you know the uh, aberrant tanks, which are just scopas tanks with a bit of green on them, or like the koi tanks. I'm talking about just one of every official type. That is what I've always wanted since basically the day I started the hobby, and I've never had a black tank. Mm, okay. So. That's, I've got I've got all other six. I was about to ask, is there one fish that you would like you would spend thousands of pounds on to get it to get one? Ah, uh, my it depends. See, it's difficult because it like so obviously fish for me are now a tax deductible expense basically. So it's it's like it's a good thing for me if you see what I mean. <laughs> so yeah. if I spend if I spend a thousand pounds on a fish, it's not really like spending a thousand pounds on a fish like you're spending a thousand pounds. You see what I mean? Yeah. So I, I'm it's... just gonna someone. I'm my good name is being besmirched by I can't think who says uh, he searched Acanthurus lineatus and the Sohal is Acanthurus Sohal. What I searched is and let me do it here. Oh yeah, at the top it says Sohal. Tang. Resume, it and it says resume your journey. Yeah. So I searched Sohal Tang, <laughs> and then it brought up there. So don't blame me. Blame Google. Well, I, what I love is yeah. that you couldn't tell the difference between two very, no, very different fish. I don't. I don't. I don't ever look at a Sohal Tang or a, a Clown Tang. I never look at them. I like. I, I don't see them in the shops, and they don't. They just don't appeal to me. But anyway, sorry. Thousand pound fish. <laughs> uh, that is what. That has been my limit on fish, and usually there's a reason. I wouldn't go and spend. I wouldn't go oh, yeah, and take yeah. a thousand pounds out of my bank account generally, and just go because. Uh, but if I had if I had a thousand pounds of coral money, so and this was in the old days. I used to sell coral, and I used to keep that money separate from my bank account, and that was guilt free spending. So if I wanted to spend, if I wanted to buy a new tank, I'd buy it with that money, and it, and it wouldn't hurt. You know, you know what I'm saying. It was what you said yeah. a minute ago. It's like monopoly money. Um, and that's was that was how I bought all my expensive fish, so it didn't hurt as much. Um, but the only fish that I really want now is a, is a black tang. Uh, obviously, the angelfish, I um, 
I want. I I kind of bought that on the spur of a moment. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, I need it. The other fish which I actually quite like is um, a masked angel fish. But like we're talking yeah. about, that, that could be a lot of money. I don't know how much it would be. I don't think they'd be that expensive. You just wouldn't find it. Maybe they would, because the last time I saw them, they weren't that expensive. But it's funny with that, with those ones, the mass Japanese mass swallowtail you're talking about, right? Uh, right, Christine's messaging this, me. Oh, Chris, I I don't, no, it's not Chris. It's not who you thought it was. What were you about to say, Alex? <laughs> I was about to give someone a warning. That's what I was about to do, uh, but I'm no, won't. <laughs> no. It's Christine's mes messaging me. She wants to buy the soul hole from me. So okay, um, but yeah, the I can't remember what I'm saying now. Oh yeah, uh, something about an angelfish. <laughs> Oh, oh masked angelfish. So I don't know. What, yeah, how yeah, much yeah. You you I, like the male and I like the female, or vice versa. I can never. No, uh, no, 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 no. We're talking. I'm talking about the. Uh, is it, it might be the banded angel. Oh, uh, the bandit. The masked one, yes, uh, but the banded Hawaiian one. Hawaiian banded angelfish. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is yeah, another yeah, yeah. fish. Those are the yeah, ones I cool. would like. But you, they're like ones you just can't get really, like very yeah. easily. Uh, they're very those, cool, yeah though. those would be the three the black one not black's not actually that attractive in terms of compared to some of the other ones but um i quite like that fish and i quite like um the the that mass the japanese mass well tailed angel the male oh like <laughs> uh, one day that fish will come up in a shop and the first thing oh, i'll, I'll, do, I'll be like i'll be like one second alex um, yeah no. <laughs> i don't know be like this uh just facetiming you yeah, just yeah. in this <laughs> shop, do you, have you want to see this fish that I've that I've just found? But the good thing is, one. well, we do. But you want you want uh, we want the the different one. You want the male, and I want the female, or vice versa, whichever it is. Yeah, but why? Why do you want the female? They're rubbish. Because <laughs> they're uh, amazing, and they got that bright yellow head. Uh, just uh, they're, they're both okay, cool. Okay, look, just... just can we do a poll? Get the pictures up. We got time, so we're only at the hour mark. I want people to pick between the male and the female um, masked swallowtail. I'm going to end that poll with Gem Tang versus the Sohel. Um, uh, because Gem Tang won 128 votes, Gem Tang was 57 percent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and oh, let's just post that in the uh, in the chat. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't go for Gem Tang because I didn't think I'd win. <laughs> oh, really? No, I didn't. Yeah, swallow tail, angelfish. All right, all right. It's like a semi semifasciatus, isn't it? Genicanthus semifasciatus. Yeah. Is what it is. And I'm going to share my screen. Uh, so this is the one I'm worried about clicking on this. There we go. So this is the one you like. And this is the one I like. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's the one you like. I didn't see the one before. I was looking at something Hang else. On. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I like with this with the in fact that would be a really, really good angel fish to go um with the um uh, with the king eye because it's got the stripes on the top, similar but different. Yeah, to be fair, that's a better photo. <laughs> no, In that no, photo, no, no. look better, but it's, yeah. just, it's just a better fish, basically. Well, yeah. But uh, I've seen one of these, and you've seen one of these, and we both wish we bought it. <laughs> okay, which do you prefer, uh, male, which is the one with the yellow across the top and the white across the bottom? Yeah, um, yeah, with the uh, like the zebra stripes. Hang on a second. Which one are you talking about? I'm talking about the one with the yellow face and the zebra stripes is the one that I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Which is the female. Is that the female? It says That's the male. Male. Yeah. Oh, okay. It literally right, says okay. male with unique shoulder markings on it. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yellow and white. Male is uh, zebra. Okay. Uh, the zebra. king I actually, that I have, has got, I don't know if it's normal for those. They're, it's got It's got like an X on it, on the markings on it. I only noticed it a couple of days ago. It like the the markings cross. It literally looks like a proper X. <laughs> mm. And I, I googled some pictures. The other ones don't seem to have that. So I, I don't know if it's a special one or it's probably pretty common He's with rare. stripes to have to He's have rare. those sorts of things. He's worth worth more. Um, so uh, I'm going to end the poll straight away. Well, I'm not because we can just move on. But uh, it's looking very much heavily in, in your favour. Uh, but I just, I just think I think the other one's cool. I like it. But that's perfect. So if a pair come in. Um, we can buy them between <laughs> us, and uh, and then we're both happy. So that's true. Oh no, no! If a pair comes in, I'll buy both of them, and then I'll let you come visit. All right. Well, I'm going to end that poll because 86 percent in favour of uh, the boring one. <laughs> Female looks like a boring <laughs> freshwater. No, Abbas, it does not. Um. All right. All right. What have we got? Right. Uh, who next? Is it you? Next uh, okay, you? I think it's me. Blonde Nasso Tang. Oh, I always <laughs> went for these guys. Um, yeah, they get quite big. 
but they're well peaceful. Do you know what? Look, if you've got a big enough tank, this is genuinely true, 100%. Um, and I, I know other people have tried this. So tangs are uh, as aggressive as the dominant fish, basically. So if your dominant fish is a purple tang, um, which are aggressive, uh, the, some of the other tangs, will, they're, they're a bit more boisterous. If you have like some uh, like an aggressive group of tangs and a big enough tank, put a big Nasso in, it calms all of them down <laughs> because they, they're like, oh, we have a new leader. And Nassos are really peaceful. They're like one of the most peaceful tangs you can get. Okay. So, but it definitely works. I promise you, it works. Interesting. Uh, so if, they get a bit on. big. I have done that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, th so I'm going to pitch it against the uh, Desjardins, the Indian Ocean sailfin tank. And th so there, there are two sailfin <laughs> tanks. Oh, well, <laughs> so shit compared to your ones. Oh, it's, it's so th there, are, there are two um, fish that are reg regularly called sailfin tank. Yeah, a Veliferum and a Desjardins. <laughs> and this is when you need to use the the, 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 the scientific names. Yeah. This is a Desjardins. The Veliferum looks very similar, but not quite as cool to me. Yeah. Why, why were you laughing, sorry? I was laughing because look at the bloody amazing picture you've got of your fish. <laughs> look at the picture you've got of mine. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I chose, there, there were two photos that I saw. One was boring, one was good. <laughs> I chose the good one of yours. Well, I feel <sighs> like, I feel like, I, I swear, like you work against me on this. Honestly, I promise, I swear, right hand to the man, uh, I do not. Uh, sometimes I do, and if I do, I say, "Let me find a bad picture." Yeah, but that yeah. I was genuinely trying to find a good picture. Uh, which do you prefer, uh, blonde Naso? Am I going to have to wish you a warning? Yes. Right, that's it. I'm coming for you. Give me, when I first type in, uh, or um, sailfin. Actually, no. This that was actually someone else. Uh, okay. That was, that was a sailfin. I'm going to have to wish you a warning to you. Text like, message warning. Look. I could look at my phone if I want. <laughs> I'm a free man. Uh, no, not on this. Not on this week, uh, live stream. No. Um, so I right, smash factory. I says, can't see what I can't see what Les's comment says. I will ju just Google we'll way better ones. Come up, see, like you are oh. working against me. I tell you what, you tried doing it whilst running a live stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing ten. I'm like a one man band here. Do you want me to shove a mop up my ass and sweep the floor as well? Anyway, well, <laughs> probably um, not. <laughs> Reefdot, what's keeping you from upgrading to a five or six foot peninsula? You seem to have room for it. I do not have room for it. That is the uh, the problem. I don't know if that doesn't come across on camera. Though. It, so the, my tank in is in a small room. The room is, I don't know, four meters squared, probably smaller. Yeah. You've seen it, of course. It's a, it's a lot of fish tank for not a lot of room. Yeah, and a, and a, a four foot a four foot two by two foot by two foot is already quite dominating in that room so yeah. I, there is there is physically space and i, yeah. I wanted a five foot one i wanted there's a peninsula five, uh, 650 that i wanted from red sea yeah but my missus was like no it's too much and that's 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 not unreasonable why did you get a, pen a peninsula because you can't see all the way around your tank no i did i so uh, there are a number of things firstly seeing through two panels of glass with no black background yeah. just looks so, it just it makes the whole tank look bright it just, uh, just, it just. There's something about it. It looks stunning. Oh, uh, it's don't don't thing, talk about it? the wallpaper. Uh, so it just, it just looks wicked. Seeing through two panels just makes brightens up the entire tank. Uh, and also, it meant that the uh, the weir box was at the far end. Oh yeah, that's um, true. Uh, most weir boxes in the middle way of your aquascape, and I didn't want that. Yeah. Um. So and it was, it was, it was a bigger tank as well. It was, um, it was bigger than the the Red Sea Reefer 45 XL, which was the other choice. Yeah. But um, but no, I, I don't have never do it, that. Is the reason. I would what, never do what you've done. No, no, I would never get a peninsula and then put it up against the wall ever. I, I, I would, just, I, if I, I had space, I I'd have it. it as a proper peninsula. Yeah. And but if I were to do it again, I I'd have no problem doing it. But um, I uh, I do think I'd probably go for the normal tank next time. Um, but there we go. Uh, where, where, where was Les's comment? He was, uh, oh, I, yeah, I should get to choose. Les says there's some way, way better. Oh, yeah, oh, true. Les, we should get Les to choose pictures, but what, what, be... but how would no, that can't work? Like, oh, yeah, that's true because he can't control it <laughs> exactly. But no, but that, that's, I tell you what, if you're going to be such a squinny about it, a squinny, let's too late yeah. now, too late. You already won, haven't you? It's fine. I don't know. Blonde, that right? Which one? Which that Look one? That very one? first picture. That's yeah, pictures that's, way that's better than the one you better, showed. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, that is much better. <laughs> <laughs> look at um, that. Yeah. I mean, that's that. They don't look that bright. 
they do and it's a well, cool shape and it's, look, at those, mm. look at those lips as well they're like you know i mean ryan this is getting a bit weird now for my i'm just this telling you like... I'm, just, I'm just saying <laughs> Uh, okay, well, there we go. So, um, he, uh, watch this <laughs> both of us have, got, have lost what we've what we're gonna say. No, so I'm gonna end that poll. It's 57% prefer sale fin tanks. Yeah. Um, Steve King says, What's your opinion on captive bred yellow tanks? I mean, well, what do you think? What's your opinion? I, I don't, don't know if I've got much of an opinion on them. Um, that, like that, when you get captive bred yellow tanks, they start off and they're a bit pale. After a few months, they go back to a normal yellow tang, and you would never know. You'd never know the difference. Um, why the thing I love sometimes is when a shop has captive bred self, uh, captive bred tangs, and then in one of their like coral trays or something, you, you mm -hmm. would know this. <laughs> They've, it says wild caught yellow tang, and then the price is really expensive. And you're like, they're the same fish, basically. Why does it matter? I don't think I've noticed that actually. I don't. Yeah, they've I don't got one of Fairham, or I used to. Um, uh, uh, maybe at Fairham. Yeah, I've not been there. One in the years. coral tray that said wild that says wild caught yellow tang, which I'm sure is more expensive. I'm I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I I don't really. I mean, what's my opinion of them? I don't really like. I'm I'm not the right person to ask because I don't like tangs. <laughs> but I and I don't really like yellow tangs. They're cool. But uh, they're not really my cup of tea, even though I put them forward as the first fish on my list. <laughs> but uh, but I I would if I liked um, uh, yellow tangs, I'd have a I'd have a captive bred one. Yeah, well, so so would I. I mean, uh, I actually because they do look when you buy them. I don't know if I'd want to hand over three hundred notes for a fish that looks a bit, you know, like see through and because uh, you're know. buying potential, aren't you? And I don't like to buy potential. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, no, fish. I know, I know what you mean, but mm. I, 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 don't, I will. The problem is for yet the yellow tangs now. I remember what they used to cost. So, like, I've got two yeah. yellow tangs. I would never buy one <laughs> because they're too expensive now. Yeah, this is true. Um, and Andy Parsons says, "Is that three to two to you?" I think it might be. You know, it is. Yeah, I'm I think I've track. come back from two 0 down, yeah. much like Kazakhstan did against Denmark earlier today for the, wow. uh, the football fans. Uh, and on that note, England are 2 0. Oh, England beat Ukraine 2 0. Yeah, uh, there we go. So, uh, I think does that mean we if, we if we've done five, that might be all of them? Oh, is it? Oh, I've got another one which I thought was cool because <laughs> if we've done five, well, we'll run through it, we'll run through quickly. But we, we, yeah. we, the point of this was we were supposed to do five each, oh, that's true, yeah. and then that's 10 in total. So, there you, you go, you won. Well done. Three. You have the best. So, there we, we now have the best <laughs> 10 tangs. Yeah, uh, and there are, there's a, a winner and a, and a second place for all of them. Um, they're captive breeding purples now. I think I've seen them before, but well, they must the be. Shops. Otherwise, how would they got all your purple? They were probably they were they, like they they would have been breeding purple yeah. as well. Okay, but uh, I'm I'm not that fussed about um, uh, uh, most captive bred fish because they're uh, the regal angel captive bred regal angels. Actually, no, yeah. no, that's not true at all. That's complete rubbish <laughs> about some captive bred fish because some of them yeah. look a bit bland. But the captive bred regal angel looks amazing when they're a junior. And actually, oh, yeah, so, yeah. Do, so do the, the mandarins, the dragonets. They look cool. Um, so, yeah, I do quite like them, I think. And obviously, clownfish. Why are you making that face? You know I'm making that why face. Why are you making that face? What are you making that face for? The person who's watching this knows why I'm making that face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She We've definitely talked. does. She definitely does now because that's yeah. what she's laughing about. <laughs> I've seen so many SPS, supposedly high flow types, uh, growing fine next to fleshy LPS with little flow. This leaves me to suspect all this flow. Just uh, leave me to. I think he's saying that it's rubbish that SPS like flow. Uh, no, that it, it is very, very, very true <laughs> that SPS like flow. You can't. You almost can't give SPS too much flow. Um, and there, there might be. T this is a funny thing though, because there are times when you will see something. And seeing if you see something with your own eyes, you're like, oh, okay, it's true. But there are times when you will see something, um, and that will show that it can be done. But actually, yeah. that doesn't mean that that's the way to do it. Life finds a way sometimes. But LPS, uh, sorry, SPS apps, and I don't know how healthy these SPS looked, but SPS yeah. love flow, and you can tell if a coral, if an SPS coral is not getting enough flow, they just they. I'm surprised at how little flow they can survive in though as well, because the coral farm only has flow one end and that's six yeah. feet away. So mm -hmm. 
Now, although it's a, it's a close, but you don't to... have many Aquapora, do you? You've, no, you've that's got... what that's what I'm saying. So when you see you're you're saying SPS, which includes Montipora and things like that, but you're specifically yeah, really, I mean, that really, really need the flow. In my water box, the flow is is for LPS. It's quite low, although I have yeah. four Nero fives. They're all very low. Yeah. But and the aqua, the SPS I have in there are Caliendrum. They're all Bird's Nest and and Montes. Yeah. So they they are probably not so fast. But in my in I really I'm talking about Aquapora. Yeah, yeah. And Aquapora likes low. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, so, the fish, just quickly, the fish I was going to show was you know one of those. Um, the they I think they're just called zebra tanks. So they're not convict tanks. They're the ones that look like convicts. But with the oh, there's another fish I wish I'd done as oh, well. Oh, the, what are they called? Uh, they're just if you type in zebra tank, the 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 Latin name or, or is um Acanthus polyzoa polyzona. polyzona. Yeah, 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 yeah. The polyzona. other one that I wish I'd done Caribbean blue tank. Like my favorite tang. <laughs> they oh, not they're do that? so boring. No. Right, and by the way, I've just googled polyzona tang yeah and it came up with your mate from earlier <laughs> my mate what do you mean this this guy look oh yeah yeah <laughs> anyway so this is a polyzona tang yeah black I, like, tang. I think they're pretty cool looking but again convict i, I assume yeah. they're going to be very similar care requirements to a convict tang and no idea. um convict tangs are a pain in the ass i've got one which is good but you, there might be 50 not good ones for every one good one <laughs> when you say not good what do you mean they don't eat. They you can get a fat they one, really? and then all of a sudden, they, even when they do eat, sometimes they just randomly starve. I think they're known for having worms, like quite badly. Um, so yeah, they're not. They're not a. Um, then that I've. I just. I you often see really skinny ones, whereas my one's like hench. Hench. It's like it goes to the gym. My one. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're, they're often talked about, like uh, um, worldwide corals and BRS and loads of other people that. Uh, yeah. Uh, shops in the UK who I who I uh, listen to talk yeah. about um uh, uh, Achilles, what are they called the convict tanks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> as being really good for for algae as, and a, a must do, have yeah, for they, a, as part of an algae eating crew. It is bubble algae. It's great. My one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um, we've got a light question. Lee Rose says, "Alex, as the lighting expert, the new AI blade coral grow or coral glow." I'm going to get one next week, but not sure which one. I have a, a Kessel A360 as my main light. If it was on its own, if it was on its own, <laughs> what? what? Nothing. If it was on its own, I would have the the Grow. If it was if it was as a supplemental light, I would have the Glow. And I considered getting two Glows to replace my Reef Brights, which I didn't like in the end. Notice how as soon as you start talking about equipment, I'm like, oh, yeah, I did I'm consider that. <laughs> I did consider. <laughs> Um, but there we go. Uh, well, hang on a second. Uh, Andy Parsons says, I've got to admit, I enjoy these head to head streams, lol. Uh, so, what's next? Bottom dwelling fish. That's not a bad show, but no, I, I think we're going to do angels next. Are we? Nice. Yeah, what, yeah, dwarf yeah. or big ones? Uh, well, angels. Mm, no, we have to, <laughs> you, you have to spill it because it's just it, like, if I come, if 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 you come with a, like a flame angel, and I'm like, look at this emperor angel. They're too they're too different. If you see what I mean. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but I I'm, I never want to turn down uh, more content. I was just saying. But, okay, but yeah, I, I don't. It just feels niching it down a bit too much. But I'm I'm up for that. Um, Estonian Reefer says, question for us two: What is coral's natural coloration? <laughs> Mostly brown. If you're in, if you're looking at it in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it looks. <laughs> I mean, coral, they're different types. So uh, I don't re don't completely understand the question. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm not really sure what that means, but they, yeah. the corals in the ocean don't look like corals in our tanks. For, firstly, they don't have that no. big blue light over them, no. <laughs> like making them pop. Uh, yeah. and, and secondly, only... <laughs> corals that when they first come in from the ocean are actually really like a pastel-y color even under mm. um, the blue lights. And like Zeovic gives them that, plas uh, that, that, that color as well, doesn't it? Mm. And it's from the ultra low nutrients of the ocean because Zeovic's really low nutrient. So as far as I'm concerned, a coral's natural color is that pastel-y color. Like, it, mm. like you, I'm not, you see what I'm trying to say. It's like yeah, yeah. That, that seems to be the most natural color to, as far as I'm concerned. Although, as I said, they look brown when you're in the ocean. They do so that, and that's like I, the only time I've been scuba diving. I was really disappointed because it was right? just like, no, I mean, in a set, it was amazing. Yeah. I loved it, 
that yeah. like when you go down you're like oh they're all just like various shades of beige <laughs> so yeah no yeah true. i um, do remember when i was i was scuba diving in australia once and i saw like a really really bright orange um acro it was only like this big it was tiny okay. and i just thought to myself under lights if you put yeah. blue lights on that bloody yeah that would be amazing yeah yeah it was a little tiny, tiny colony, but it, it stood out even under just normal daylight so much. Yeah, that's cool. And I bet that's the kind of uh, coal that, that um, coal collectors go out looking for with a little blue torch. Yeah, well, you didn't looking. need a blue torch, trust me. Um, what else was on your list? We're not going to, uh, we won't go through them properly, but we'll just, we'll, we'll run through uh, the ones. Uh, well, as I said, Caribbean Blue Tang was a pretty cool one. I quite like that. Uh, we didn't do the Pacific. Uh, Caribbean blue. blue. Let me have a look at that. Caribbean. Caribbean blue. They all start off yellow, but then they turn blue, and it's like a it's like a really different blue. Just so everyone knows, I hate regal tanks. You know, just if you want to start like Dory, should say boring. Dory. Oh no, Dory. Yeah, fucking hate. Oh, <laughs> I try not to swear too much. Excuse my French, <laughs> but uh... Don't blame the French. <laughs> yeah, but it's like. <laughs> It's a that is a such nice colored fish when you were like under the proper lighting. I so there's certain times when you'll see something uh, in like somewhere and you you remember it. They had one of these at London Zoo, and I just thought, bloody hell, that is an amazing fish. Like the color, but they also get huge as well, which is why they yeah. stand out. But they start off yellow, they start off like a yellow tan colored yellow. That color, there's one that I don't know what you're pointing at, but there's a yellow one on there's three yellow ones on the screen, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, sorry, that color, yeah, yeah, the one with the mouse on it, yeah. Uh, but, okay, and then here's one that's um half yellow, half blue because it's losing its yellow colors. What's what's interesting is you get yellow ones which are like this, so big yellow ones sometimes, and you get blue ones which are like this Tiny. sometimes. So, so I don't know what makes them change color because it's, it's obviously not size, because why would you get massive yellow ones? And tiny blue ones. Mm. So I I had a yellow one for a long, long time, which was a good probably four or five inches. Never changed color. It was just like a massive yellow tang. Hmm. Okay, that's funny. I, I, I don't like how big they get. <laughs> yeah, but I, yes, because you got a little tank, so. <laughs> no, it's not. Even if I, I, I even if I had a big tank, I wouldn't want a massive tank like that. We, the, the question came up earlier about um, tanks that do well in a small tank. Yeah. Uh, and, and we didn't really talk about um the, so the one i was one that was on my list was a, a um uh a gold rush tank what they call tummy to yeah remember. yeah i knew i thought you'd say that yeah and they uh, so i have one in my two foot by two foot by 16 inch tank 150 yeah. liters 40 gallons and uh he's doing fine he's been in there i reckon two years no yeah. no no i think the tank's probably two years old uh, 18 months maybe and he's, yeah. he's not really grown massively he's noticeably bigger than photos i've when you look back but yeah. he's, he's not big he's still small he's still like a size of a large coin <laughs> i find that with a lot of of the tanks i think although they can potentially get to a foot long or whatever they don't mm. usually get there overnight if, mm. if, if, like it this takes is, a, a bit, long yeah. time sometimes some do some don't but th this guy is fine and he's he, he will be happy in that tank for probably for years yeah but the trouble with the, the trouble with the tummy tank is so the the, the, the they are like so they do this with them over the rock all day long, constantly scraping yeah. at the little bits of algae. They don't go <laughs> for the bigger chunky bits of algae, and yeah. so you need a you need a tang or another fish that does go for the bigger bits. And I've got a fox face in there as well that goes for the bigger bits. Yeah. But so if you put one in and they, if you've got a load of ulva or some kind of nasty algae like that, yeah, forget it with a tommy tang or a coal tang. They're not interested in it or green hair algae or whatever but the big algae they just they don't go for and that i find that frustrating <laughs> yeah know? no yeah no I, like, I yeah i agree you're a like, you, you have one job you have literally <laughs> one job just eat it <laughs> but yeah it's really it's just about knowing what they what they eat and what they um, they don't eat another one was the a vampire tang they're a bit bland but yeah they're like a are they flamingo i like like we got vampire tang freckled face tang and mustard tangs are all tangs i like oh these are dull the mustard tang, uh, the, it, the, the orange shoulder tang is what I was thinking. These look a bit like. I, I've I've got uh, actually there's a few there's a few there's quite a few tangs if you think about it. there's the mimic tangs orange shoulder this tang like gold rims and powder browns everything. 
Yeah, that's. Some, I, I, I've got two mimic tanks. I've got the okay. one that mimics the half black angel, and I've got the one that mimics the, uh, by uh, not by color. What's the Lemon yellow peel? one? What's what's the yeah? What's the yellow? Angel? Lemon peel. Lemon peel. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't hear you say that. Um, yeah. I, I yeah, haven't cool. got the Ebly one or Ebly or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. They're cool. Um, other fish that were on my list. That's it. All excuse me. All the other fish that are on my list were you uh, you voted for. Freckle face so, tang. That's a cool one. A bass has got one of them. I, I think I think they're an acquired taste and yeah. mustard tangs. I actually really like mustard tangs. I don't know why. I just really like them. I don't. I think they're boring. Um, mustard. mustard. Well, you, well, you obviously won this, so yeah, exactly. You all the fish one you beat me on. <laughs> Because you've got happen? crap tasting fish. Oh no, mustard tank. Hang on a second. So this is what I picture as a mustard tank. But is this no, what no, no. They're I'm talk... No, I'm talking about they're, they're a dual tank. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So dual. That's dual. I know that as a dual tank. Yeah. Um, but this, that is what I would think of as a mustard tank. But is that <laughs> the same fish then? Is that what they look? No, like? no, they're different fish. That that fish, the, the yellow one, is actually is, is a mimic tank. I think. Oh, yeah, it's okay. a lemon mimic. That's what it turns into. Um, can I just clarify something that I've just realized the person that did not know that tangs had a scalpel and the no, person that did not know the difference know between it <laughs> they, they didn't know the difference between a a, a soho and a clown tang one the who and has the best no, taste no, no, in no, no, tangs no, no. it's not that i don't know the difference between the two <laughs> uh but yeah well, well i've got a best taste in fish wine and the person who doesn't even have any tangs other than a, but like a shit pink one <laughs> i got two. Oh, you got uh, yeah and you got a scopus tang haven't you um, yeah, but no, I don't. I, tangs aren't my cup of tea. They just, I just no. See, on Ras, you'd you would beat me hand. Well, you beat me at this, but like it would no, be no. so easy with Ras to beat me because I have no interest in them. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's, I do like Ras, but um, uh, the thing that the, the one thing that I don't like about Ras or the Ras that I have. So I have um, some Halakori's Ras, and I have um, some. Oh, excuse me, I have one. I'm tired today. I have oh, one. Oh, they're boring you. It's because the, the clocks went back, so technically it's now night. I got up early as well this morning, uh, and we lost an hour. Uh, I have an, an anapsis ras as well, and the anapsis ras doesn't really jump that much. The halicories constantly, constantly splash about at the top. So if I didn't have a cover, they'd be out straight away. Oh, but they yeah, constantly no, I splash, and it does my nutting because they splash like uh, water onto the the floor, onto the chair, <laughs> onto the me, beautiful wallpaper, onto the wallpaper, and it's just like, guys, can you just chill out, please? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna do. Excuse me, I've, I've, I'm, I'm yawning now. It's bad. Isn't it? uh, we're gonna do a quick question and answer session. Oh yeah. So uh, we said uh, off, I was off camera. Wasn't it? Uh, so uh, if you've got questions. Chuck them in the comment section now, uh, and Ryan and I will. Well, Otis them. had already started. Are there any good beginner tangs? Any of the zebrazomas are, as far as I'm concerned, are good beginner tangs. They generally eat their their some of the more peaceful ones. Generally, all tangs can be a bit problematic, and they are like pretty disease resistant as well. So, any mm. of the zebrazomas, yellow, purple, scopas, gem, black, and the Pacific and De Jardin yourself in. Boom. <laughs> Stay go. away from all acanthus tanks because those are both. It's weird because powder blues and powder browns and gold rims and Achilles, they all have this sort of sensitivity and they're acanthus tanks to parasites. Yep. Whereas Soholes and clown tanks are also acanthus tanks and they don't have that. They're some of the hardiest mm. tanks when it comes to parasites, but they do look a bit different. I almost think that scientifically they went yeah just let's just put them in the same category but they they look totally different if you look at them mm. so i'm boring you aren't i you're saying that uh, you're not you're not i'm just trying to suppress a yawn because <laughs> i'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying i'm saying that the scientists are wrong exactly yeah yeah what do they know um well there you go uh uh, 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 <laughs> everyone's asking when's the well jamie's started a when's the prestige reef dog barbecue we're having it at your house by the way not mine are we now uh I've, yeah, yeah have i got more space maybe outside space anyway well um there's no parking at my place though so. i haven't got a barbecue 
I am. So that's, um, that's a, bit, a bit problematic for the Prestige Reef Talk barbecue. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I'd ever do a barbecue, but I would be up for I talked before about just one day saying we're going to this coffee shop. We're going to yeah. be there at two o'clock. See you there. Yeah, I'd it's going to be the that. coffee shop that's 30 seconds from my house, isn't it? I do. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Um, there we go. Oh, wow. Right. Uh, question. Uh, what sort of tank size for an Achilles tank, Ryan? Uh, I, I think they're in the, you know, when you see what they're meant to be, uh, it's basically, it's a six foot tank, as far as I'm concerned, it's six foot or bigger. And you need, as I said, you need to have like mental amounts of flow, like proper, proper, like mm. high, high oxygen, high. You actually, you know, it's interesting when you, they're in a tank, they will quite often swim directly opposite the power head into the power head. And I wonder if it's because they're trying to breathe sometimes, because you don't see other tanks doing that. I've seen other fish do that when they're trying to peck um, uh, algae off the power head. No, no, this is like they might be like two feet away from it, and they yeah, so they can definitely get to it, but they they're just swimming up against it, and I, sometimes I, they'll do it for like twenty minutes. That feels like exercise to me. Yeah, it could be. It's. Um, I think we should cover the fact why we hate regal tanks. Firstly, well, come on to that because. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> but yeah, do you want to do that now? So regal tanks, I don't really know what. I don't find them that ugly. I just maybe I do. I don't really know. I just, they just I don't like them. <laughs> I just don't. I I'm the same. They also they they're known for eating coral. They're, they they yeah. uh, they have pests. You cut. They come in at this little like two piece size sometimes, and they're mm. like, oh look how cute it is. Then it ends up like a foot long a year later. <laughs> they, they don't do look that great when they're um when they're uh, bigger when they're older. Yeah. But, uh, as loads of fish look fade colors, don't they? But I don't know what it is. Just, I, I don't like that they're, they're paracanthus, aren't they? So they they yeah. like a lot of space. Yeah. Um, although you can keep them in small tanks, I've seen them in a. I saw one in a Red Sea Reef for two fifty. My neighbour had one for a couple of years. It was fine. Jamie's saying leave Dory alone. I'm pretty sure Jamie is one of the only tanks that Jamie doesn't have is a regal tank. Oh, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't got a regal tank. And then okay. and Lee's saying he loves regal tanks. Yeah. Well, you know we can all be wrong sometimes, Lee. Like this, you've been this... proven to be wrong tonight. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Um, Nick Seif says, uh, "How fast does a zebra say escape us?" Go past tank. I would say they're one of them, just an average growth rate. I don't like then they're, they're not one of the, 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 the two big cell fins, Pacific and Villa and Dejardy, they grow fast. The other ones all grow roughly the same. Mine didn't grow very much in the three months I had it. <laughs> yeah. all it's probably good you weren't feeding it. <laughs> uh, I was feeding it. I was feeding it in Norway as well. Um, is a purple Greg D says, is a purple coal chocolate tangs with a copper band and four smaller fish in a water box 105.4 overstocked. Um, you might struggle with a copper band with tangs. Oh, you, you, you've kept copper bands with tangs, haven't you? I've got copper bands in every tank that has tangs in it. Some yeah. with purple tangs, but some you're, with... You're, a, they're like eight long trays, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, look, don't, yeah, there is that. But it, it all comes down to how you introduce the copper band. It's as simple as that. If you introduce uh, the copper okay. band slowly over the course of a week in a little acclimation box, the tangs won't care. If you throw it in on day one, they will kill it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I put one in an acclimation box for day. Yeah. released it and it, the purple tang wasn't having it yeah but it's but, got to um, be a week <laughs> yeah 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 no i know i'm not yeah that's what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. um purple coal tang chocolate tangs with a copper band that feels quite a lot in a four foot tank to me i would do it but yeah Ch it, chocolate. It, 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 we, yeah but how, how like, this is the problem are, are those fish two inches like the juveniles you see or are they like full adult size <laughs> the chocolate tang is, oh, is they, the mimic that's that's the one yeah. you didn't like, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah chocolate, okay. chocolate tangs are the mimic tangs. But you, so, Ryan would do it, and Ryan is the tang man. So, I, I, yeah, I probably would do it. So but someone will come it when it goes wrong. Steve Webb says, uh, uh, "Why have my snowflake clowns killed my millipora by pecking at it until it looks bleached?" I mean, uh, they sometimes clear spaces on rocks for yeah. uh, to to lay eggs. So it that's might the only be that. thing I could think of as well. But I've never seen it. So there are fish like the yellow clown goby do that. They strip the base of um, stylos in particular, but and uh, but loads of SPS corals. Yeah, never seen, never heard of a clown doing it. But I would guess it's to clear a bit of space to to lay some bambinos. There you go, uh, Gary Kraut. Question: What ras can I happily keep in a BB tank? Bare bottom. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it would be. So fairy wrasse um, sleep in caves rather than uh, rather than sand beds. Um, so I would probably go for uh, one of the fairy wrasse types. Yeah, 
there's I don't know much much about Ras, so other than the ones that do good jobs and fair ass are not on that list. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not really a very good um, uh, for pests. I think uh, they're what... a bit of a rubbish ras anyway, because they're, they're not very, oh, yeah. they're pretty peaceful as well. So they like everything chases them into the cave and then they die. <laughs> yeah, I've had two that got bullied to death. Yeah. But they're cool though. Anyway, uh, Mark Swan says, question, why does my south in tank open up when my zebra eels try to come out of the rock? Open up when my zebra eels try? No Presumably idea. That's, like that sounds like an interesting tank. Experience. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's threatened. Maybe he's trying to say, don't eat me. Look how big yeah. I am. You wouldn't like what I taste like. <laughs> you ever had um, an eel? No, no. Not my cup of tea. Oh, or I'd have, I'd have garden eels. Well, have you? No, no. I would have garden oh. eels. I wouldn't, if you know what I mean, but I would. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're cool. I had, I, um, like... I had a snowflake eel. Okay. I've all, I always wanted a zebra, but eels are a bit of a pain because you've got to feed them specially sometimes. Like if they, if they won't come out of the cave yeah, to yeah. eat. But yeah, I had I it was it's an interesting fish, but it's not really a reef fish. I would oh I've just thought of a new fish for the angelfish tank. Have you oh, seen right. the dwarf golden eels? Oh yeah, yeah, they're quite cool actually. Yeah. I do quite like those. But uh, the problem is because I go away quite often, like I have to I I and I my neighbour feeds the fish. My my neighbour must love me. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, just pop them to America for six weeks. You might you <laughs> might pop you might come over and feed the fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes i do mind. and i can't uh, i can't get an eel where you have to specifically feed it like yeah, by hand like a, like a it's too unfair. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah okay um uh melissa was asking if you uh quarantine your fish we know we know you don't no, no uh kane deriza uh says uh reef talk have you guys uh, ever dealt with hole in the head or lateral line disease i haven't have you no that's it's something that you don't really get anymore as long like in terms there's there's i think there's three things that cause it usually one of them is carbon i i believe okay yeah yeah, yeah. um Too so much. you need to a, a high quality, carbon as you in. need a high quality carbon basically um that, that so it doesn't cause the problem the biggest one is actually a nutritional de deficiency which is if you feed your tangs nora you shouldn't have it um and stray voltage i think can do it as well so oh, really yeah i, be I believe that it that can cause it um, i unplugged a jacod power uh, pump uh, this week because it was um it had stray voltage really that's what happens yeah. when you get stuff from china this is what i'm saying and actually uh, joking aside the uh, the the one the pump if you ever unplug the the uh, the control box the power supply from the control box of a jacod it sparks <laughs> really yeah 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 just what you want <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it does make you think, well, how seriously have they taken um, uh, the, the European regulations for electrical safety? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve King, what was the fish you were drawn to when you first entered the hobby? I really liked the, there was a, a, a tank at Reef um, Maidenhead Aquatics in uh, Chichester, <laughs> which don't, they, really? they, they don't do salt water anymore. It was, no, they don't. If, the tank was rubbish. If you looked at it now, you'd be like, eh. But at the time, I was like, that's amazing. And it had a little Toby puffer in it. And they were, it was just the coolest fish in the world. I remember that because that, that, was, that was one of the shops I used to go to. It was about nine, ten years ago. Yeah, that was when I was going to it. <laughs> okay, there you go. But um, it was it was, it was was an average tank, but it just, oh, that, that fit. And the, the water was so crystal clear. That was the first thing that struck me. And then yeah. you've got all these brightly colored fish. What you know, got me into it, and it wasn't actually a fish. It was I. I still remember this. I would have been very young. I probably would have been seven, and I and it, and it was a, a linkier starfish. The you know the bright oh, really? blue. Yeah, one of my sister's friends had. So this was a must. Think about how long ago that must have been. If I was like six, and I'm now thirty three, for the, for these people to be having mm. a reef tank in their living room that had a, a, a linkier starfish. Yeah, that starfish yeah. definitely died. <laughs> that I now know. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> the day after, I remember. Sorry. I remember we went to go pick up my sister, and I could see that so I was looking through the light uh, through the living the window in the living room. So I got out of the car, so I'd come in and look at it, and it, it was this bright blue. They had all fish and everything, but the bright blue starfish is one of my early like earliest memories of the hobby. Okay. Yeah, okay, there boring. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm reading questions. Uh, Ford Escort R sixteen hundred is Greek. Uh, what do you know? Efadi Stopoli. That just means thank you very much. It's the only thing I can say in Greek. Oh. <laughs> so that's it. Sorry. 
Best they, like, people come here for the fish. They instead they get your opinion on China and some Greek language from you. What, there's, uh, what, uh, uh, what, how'd you say hello? Uh, Kalispera, Kalimera. Good morning and good evening. Anyway, there you go. Mm, I mean, I'm actually it. quite impressed. My dad's my dad used to speak fluent Greek. He um, he worked really? in in Greece quite a lot. He was a yacht broker. He used to go out there quite a lot. Mm. Um, and so we went on holiday, but I, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> uh, question, Catherine Drennan. I like both pygmy angel, angels and clams. <laughs> hey, well, that's that's a coincidence because pygmy angels like clams as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If I get a bicolor angel, will it eat my flame scallop uh, or my maxima clam? I've never had a flame scallop. A year old, that's impressive. I thought they uh, they don't have a very good survival rate. Yeah, flame scallops do have a very low survival rate and they even have an even lower survival rate if you put a pygmy angel fish with them, probably. <laughs> Bicolor angel is is um oh yeah okay either way I I wouldn't personally risk a bicolor angel with a with a Mexican clam no. but I've never had a bicolor angel or any angel with a clam for that matter I've had clams and I've had angels but never in the same tank I had a regal angel with a clam which was fine um but bicolor angels are known for being a bit a, a bit more nippy mm. I'm not saying it would actually like go to town just destroy it but it might never open. <laughs> That I was about to say exactly that. So I had a, a cleaner ass with a, a Maxima clam. Yeah. And it pecked the, 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 any time, it, anytime it went near it, it would peck the, the mantle of the clam. Yeah. And that was enough. It did it all the time. And that was enough that meant the clam was closed all the time. I went yeah, down yeah. at night, it was closed. Yeah. So, um, so they just, and it, it, it would have died if I'd have left it. So I fished out the, um, the, the ras. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't risk it. But it's funny because something like I, I thought that my, um, my, my my copper band was going to eat my clam, and it didn't. Didn't touch it. But then maybe it would have done if I'd left it in there for a couple of years. But <laughs> uh... it says, which one of you are going across the pond? Come to Reef Palooza, New York, twenty twenty three. I don't know when. What what month is New York in? I know uh, Florida is coming up. There is. I've never been to New York, and I may be coming to New York maybe you are the best shout for that i'm unlikely to do it yeah i just new york is the is is probably the highest likely one i'll go to this year yeah okay um so i yeah okay i almost we booked our honeymoon last weekend to get married in may yeah. and oh, we yeah? all we almost Where are we went going? To... <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> not you and me <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not me and my missus and we almost <laughs> went to uh, west coast of america oh, yeah. um and I had half an eye on. Oh, there was one. I can't remember what it was. It was there was one shop that would have been somewhere around. Well, you're, um, that's did she know that you were because you're <laughs> that's the oh, quickest yeah, yeah, way yeah. to get a divorce. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm I'm quite open about my fish habits. Um, Estonian Reaver says, Reef Dog, are you considering replacing your paid job uh, for Reef Dog YouTube channel yeah. one of these days once it grows bigger? I would love to, but I think it's probably never going to. It's not impossible. Yeah, but it's probably never going to happen. It's not impossible that I might go down to part time, do three days a week with my main job, yeah, and then do YouTube two days a week. But even that, it would have to pay a lot more money than it does at the moment. Can you <laughs> see yourself more. doing this in like twenty years' time? Twenty years? I mean, that's a long time. I'd be sixty then. Do you want some sad? Yeah, you're old? so old. How I didn't know you were that old. Exactly. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I. I, it would be cool if I was, and if I if yeah. I'm doing it in 20 years' time, I'll be full time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you'd want to um, be. Yeah, but you fish is saltwater fish is a very niche um, part of YouTube. So yeah, the the chance the chances are uh, the chance of making a living out of it, a decent living, and enough to be to make me comfortable because I would want to because you, you get all sorts of perks as as a, an employee like pension uh yeah. holidays <laughs> all yeah, these yeah. sorts of things that yeah, you don't true. get so i wouldn't just have to match my earnings i'd have to earn even more to factor in all these other things i'd lose out oh, on, oh, so. Oh, so you're saying that as a youtuber you wouldn't have holidays you'd have way more time than you do now <laughs> mm, i don't think i would wouldn't you <laughs> I, i've it's been i've gone down to two video uh, one video a fortnight yeah and i'm spending more time than i was before <laughs> so i think I'd, 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 I'd spend a lot of time in it but i'd love to do it but it's, it's probably unlikely yeah. uh how long would you give a missing naoka ass before fearing the worst i mean any fish like this really fish go missing from time to time yeah. if a fish goes missing for a couple of days especially like a, a, Na a Na naoka ass they don't go missing for no reason have but you got a are... lid? It's my first question. Yeah, this is true. If you don't, check the down the back of the tank. If any fish that you don't see for a, for a, even for a matter of hours, if you normally see it out and about, there's probably something going on. And if it's for a couple of days, 
yeah. there's probably trouble. Um, but sometimes some fish do go missing. You don't see them for months and then they pop back up. Yeah, yeah. No, so, I agree. Yeah. It's usually, um, and it is usually a wrasse that, that are like that. Yeah, I was thinking gobies, shrimp gobies in particular. That's because they, they sort of like make... The problem with shrimp gobies, you might get lucky and they make a nice home at the front of the tank. But more often than not, they find, they're at the back of the tank and you yeah. never see them. <laughs> Bloody annoying, isn't it? Mine actually, fortunately... Mine is right at the front of this yeah. of the fluval evo, which is wicked. Because if he was at the back, man, I'd be like my my jawfish in my main tank, yeah. far corner that I can't see behind the weir box as well. Bastard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Oscars, that's the one I was thinking of earlier. By the way, oh, I said it? tiger. <laughs> no, I, I thought I was... they get big. We were talking yeah, about yeah. big fish. Um, Jim Green, has he just asked one? Oh, he's got two questions in. Outrageous. Uh, it says, uh, would you add a yellow long-nosed butterfly if you already had a happy feeding copper band? Uh, question. I don't know. Someone I, asked a minute ago, actually, about keeping two copper bands as well, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Any, any fish that looks the same as another fish. So the, the, the beauty of our hobby is there's so much, there are so many niches that each fish occupy different spaces. Yeah. And so therefore they can all live together happily. And that's why a lot of them are peaceful. Yeah. Any fish that looks the same, that fish is likely to think that guy's my competition. You're yeah. going to eat the same thing I am. So they both got long beaks. So they, in the wild, they go pecking in rocks and caves for, yeah. for small shrimp and stuff. So I personally wouldn't risk that. And I've never seen it. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it can't be done, but I wouldn't risk that. It, it would be the same as with Tangs, I reckon. I reckon they'd, they'd fight probably. But yeah. I think Janice just posted the question again. It says, um, <clears throat> do, uh, do you have any cough bands together? Plan to keep two in my 120. I'm assuming that's gallon. Going to get juveniles. What I do know is that cob bands do not like each other. They do not like each other. So there is a possibility you might be able to get a pair if you get a male and a female. You have there's there is a way of gendering them. I think. I think okay. there's a way of gendering, but it's something so obscure. It's like it's like the width between their nose or something. It's really yeah. really hard to tell, especially on juveniles. But cob bands do not like each other. So no, okay. Don't they <laughs> like they will fight if you put two together, and it's hard uh, enough getting one, with, like without stressing out. Why put two in there? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, my good friend <laughs> says it's Yasu, which I think is hello. I think that's high. And I think Yasa is what you say. Is that is that what women say? It's like a male female thing. Right? Oh, so you would say that then, would you? We. What's wrong with being a woman, Ryan? You being sexist? Oh, nothing. Oh, oh. didn't realize that's what you were like. <laughs> okay i'm getting to know you a bit more i'm i don't know about anyone else i'm learning more things about you that i didn't know well, I, I learned about your feelings uh, about china today <laughs> yeah so. well yeah i mean it's just if there was someone watching who hadn't known you uh, that long that's true if there they're was learning new things so. it's almost like you're suggesting that you know something someone's got some explaining to do <laughs> <laughs> true i'm uh, sure she will be laughing at the moment so steve's reef aquarium question which coral food for mixed reef Red Sea, AB plus, reefroids or uh, or phyto or not bother. Um, reefroids slash phosphate in a tub. Yes. What? So I, I'm not a fan of, of feeding corals, broadcast feeding corals. Yeah. For the most part, what 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 do you think? It feeding corals absolutely will in, in enhance their growth, coloration, and like like look that that sort of like. It's an ambiguous thing when you say coloration because it, yeah. like, it's, but generally speaking, feeding corals will have a positive impact on the coral itself. Having said that, only if your water quality is pristine. So if yeah. you're putting, if you're putting um, reef roids in or anything in that's, and then all of a sudden your phosphate goes up, that will have a negative impact on the coral coloration. So you have to, you have to work out. It's like there's pros and cons. So I don't feed the coral farm anymore um, because I have too much growth on, on some of the corals. Uh, there are some corals that do benefit from being fed. Absolutely. Mm. Acans de definitely benefit from being fed. Yeah. Um, I think trackies like it. Scullies, trackies. Yeah. Scullies, yes. So there are some things, but not all. But I, and I have fed um, the Red Sea AB plus. I feed it intermittently. And when I say intermittently, it'd be like once a month, basically. I quite like that. If I was going to feed, I would feed if I had a very low nutrient tank. Yeah, but I, oh, definitely, I have, yeah, I have high nutrients. But um, so I, that's when I would feed. But the, the other thing I don't like about broadcast feeding things like AB plus, Reefroids, Phyto, all that lot, is that you're not just feeding your corals; you're feeding yeah. everything. 
And that's yeah. not, I'm not saying either fish get a snack. I'm saying your vermited snails get a snack. Yeah, Did yeah. You take yeah. Any, any, any kind of sweet, any kind of pest that you've got in there is eating as well. That tastes you. Yeah. Uh, even algae and stuff. So I'm not a massive fan of that. I do, I'd like the idea of target feeding things like acans and things yeah. like trackies. I like that. Yeah. Although that's a pain in the book. That's the trouble is pouring a bit of red sea reef energy in takes three seconds and yeah. looks cool <laughs> under blue lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Target feeding <laughs> a, a coral, especially yeah. if you've got a shrimp that you need to fend off. It's is usually, a pain if, in you, the if you've got a coral which is dying, and as long as it's not dying because your phosphate is extremely high, <laughs> yeah, yeah. then yeah, feeding feed it. generally will make it better. You had a scully, it was dying. You fed it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And yeah, even sure. like the like the you saw the blastos yesterday. Remember, like mm. I showed you, I showed you what they did look like, like in terms of like you saw yeah, one, yeah. And, you, and then and then you, there's such a big difference from the ones that could be fed. Yeah. So there, there, there is a big difference because you, so you can bring things back, but it's it's a balance. If you have shit water quality, which is what's killing your coral, feeding them is not going to make exactly. any difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is very see. That's the thing, and this is why one of the reasons I'm not bothered about things like coral feeding is that water quality is everything yeah and if you've got your water quality spot on and you get your lighting and your flow right your corals are going to look awesome you don't necessarily need things like trace elements and coral food it's not that those yeah. things don't benefit your, your tank it's just that that's the the cherry on top of the icing on the cake yes yeah. um and uh, Stuart Webb says bicolors will eat anything and everything <laughs> so yes um, I agree uh, 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 uh what else have we got would you keep an octopus? Uh, I mean, I'd eat an octopus. They don't live very long. No, two years or something like that. I think it might even be less than that. But I, I wouldn't. There's no way in God's, in God's on God's green earth I would eat, I'd keep an octopus personally. They don't really like. If you think about an octopus tank, have you seen? You must see an octopus tank at, the, at an aquarium. It's like yeah, the boringest yeah. tank. There's nothing in them because <laughs> they'll, like, they'll eat everything. <laughs> you just see this little tiny like leg or something sticking out of yeah, a, out of a like rock a yeah. pot or, or something and that's yeah. all you see so they're they're pretty boring don't get me wrong they're probably interesting at feeding time but other than that like 99 percent of the time they do nothing yeah and they, if if the, their beak is the only restriction on the size of a hole they can escape from as well yeah because <laughs> yeah. they look quite big but they squeeze down there yeah. no they're, they're a nightmare um Sedders is getting in it's starting his calc journey tomorrow he's getting a Del deltec calcwasser stirrer uh, any advice uh, just go slowly to be honest the same watch thing, your same video that's what he needs to do watch my video click on the adverts if there are any affiliate links in the description click on them <laughs> click those, yeah, yeah and buy whatever you know also if you could just send some cash to this address <laughs> yeah just send cash yeah and your <laughs> pin number and your credit card yeah. um Calc journey. I mean, just go slow. There, there's, the, the, it's not calc is so. I keep trying to make a video. I just run out of time for the Reef Talk Extra channel yeah. about how I dose calc cluster on my three tanks. It's so yeah. easy. On this one, the Fluval Evo, it's a small container that lasts two weeks. That's it. Bottle. Yeah. And a dosing pump. That's it. And I dose it overnight. It's just so so easy. Uh, but just start slow um, and, and build up um, slowly. Test your alkalinity regularly. It's easy. <laughs> so easy. Uh, yeah, and it's cool. It does does good things for your pH. Um, yeah, <laughs> Reef Dog would become Reef Bum. Yeah, so he's yeah, Keith is uh, a couple of years older than me. So yeah. Um, imagine how many lights he would have had in twenty years. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's I, I like how people are now commenting about. Oh, are you just reading really old comments? Uh, pro yeah, ten uh, eight forty nine. <laughs> so yeah, ten minutes ago. Ouch. Uh, when's the update of the angelfish tank coming out? There's it, one today, it came, it came out literally at like probably an hour ago, <laughs> yeah, two hours ago, yeah, just oh, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Janet, this is, question. This is what happens sometimes, just quickly. I will get, I'll put out a post about the angelfish tank, and then I'll get a private message going, mm -hmm. What's the update? I'm like, What you want to move in? If you want, if, if, just, like, um... if you want an update that, <laughs> yeah, that that's yeah. that <laughs> up to date, you need to move in. <laughs> But that's probably someone that's who right. hasn't checked YouTube before they've logged on. Oh, no, no, I think they have seen it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Fine. Yes, because it's almost like it, it feels like the the up the question came like j uh, quick enough to that it just, like it'd been up in right. 50 to 15 minutes or something. I always find it slightly. I I get why people do it, but I always find it slightly strange when people send a private message 
in response to a YouTube video. Because yeah. I always think you're much more likely to get a reply if you post a comment on the YouTube video. Well, it's not that I always think you are. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Janet says, question, Ryan. Do this you have any... a minute ago. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, let me scroll down in that case and see. It's, uh, question, why do so many of the same fish in small tanks? Why do so... Why do so many of the same fish in small tanks in local fish shops seem to get along and not fight, but you can't put two of the same fish in a much larger tank? Because they're there for a matter of days or weeks at most. They're all stressed and they're just trying to to, uh, to survive, basically. And they haven't settled in. And if there's loads of them, they can't batter each other. And by the way, there are, there are plenty of times when I see fish bullying other fish in, in local fish shops. Yeah, And I'll, if, and I'll go and say to the, the owner or the shop people, whatever, you need to separate those two. <laughs> yeah. But, and I, I think it would be very, like shops, they know most of the time, let's say they've made a mistake yeah. what yeah, they're yeah. doing. So you, you don't you don't go into a shop and you'll see a purple and a yellow tank in this, one of those little tanks. You just don't see it. But it's things like you'd have five uh, bicolor blennies in the same tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that, but the thing is, so fish, this this caught me when I was in the freshwater hobby. Yeah. Fish don't, in, in the local fish shop don't exhibit their natural behavior. So I, I went looking for a shoaling fish. Yeah. And I saw these, I can't remember what they call them, they either gold or silver um, tetras. And uh, I think it's just my dating mob. Uh, they were just gold or silver tetras, and they were shoaling really tightly. And I was like, that's amazing. Yeah. So I bought a load of them, 10 or 20 or whatever, put them in my tank and they just spread out all over the place. It's because they they were they were scared because they're yeah, in yeah. a small tank. So that's so that that, that 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 sometimes they do exhibit their natural behavior, but a lot of the time they're just they've just got in there, maybe they've been halfway around the world the day before, yeah, and they're true. they're panicking, they're just trying to assimilate and get by. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't mean an awful lot. Um has anyone had an Australian stripey? Uh what's the face? Think. Uh, <laughs> uh lauren uh simple aquarium simply aquarium simple aquariums has got uh has got one jamie I, they, i'm pretty sure they're not reef safe i'm pretty sure then i might be wrong well, but... parker's reef has one and he's got all sorts oh, really? of sds oh, lps all that stuff ugly fish though ugly <laughs> we used to catch when i lived in australia we used to like literally when we were fishing you used to catch them just in just in the wild yeah okay so <laughs> they, you'd reel them in on the on the fishing rod fair enough uh yeah uh yeah i think that maybe they are better for food than uh, keeping in a tank uh all right i think in which case oh no barolo has one last question i have a white have a i have a white uh, tail cold tank and it has white spot before the lights turn off and loses when the morning comes by only tang and large fish with no aggression in my four foot peninsula eats perfect any ideas <laughs> so this could be like the stress spot thing you were talking about earlier with Achilles but, or whatever it was. Yeah, but if it's every day, or is it? Yeah. About how long? How long has that been the case for? Yeah. Well, it, that don't. would that would bother me. I would be concerned about that. But I don't know what the answer is. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you could say the answer is remove all your fish, <laughs> quarantine them all. It seems <laughs> like a really odd. Is it like white spot? Or is it like a a, a um? You know how fish change color when they're stressed or something. Ah, uh, yeah, and when they're going to sleep as well. Yeah, so I can't, I can't imagine that because there's no parasite disease that you, uh, when you turn the lights off, it's when it has what's oh before the lights are turned off. Yeah, and then when they come in the morning, no, that just doesn't happen. Fish do go their color camouflage color sometimes before lights off, don't they? No, I, I've I, not I, noticed yeah. it with my cold tank. So I'm just that talking about it. there's no parasite that's like that. So no, 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 no. Uh, so well, even with white spot, the spot the, the spots will move on a day to day basis. So if it's got one on its nose, for example, that won't be there in three days' time. But it doesn't completely lose everything. No, certainly, yeah. <laughs> Don't know. Post some photos on uh, a forum. Oh, oh, there's the best place to post photos. I think is the BRS. Ask BRS on a group on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there we go. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up. Ryan, was there anything else you wanted to to say before we finish? Uh, yeah, go buy some corals. <laughs> no, just... Go buy some corals. From, yeah, I tell you what, message if you want a fancy um, uh, chalice and you've got a few quid, and we're talking a couple hundred quid, <laughs> it's nice. Message Ryan. Uh, well, less and than a couple of hundred quid, but <laughs> well, yeah, no, but thick end thereof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very nice, and uh, it's not on the website. So if you're Ooh. after it, I could get a load of messages now going. What's that chalice? Oh, How yeah, about yeah. Sorry. how about we let you post a picture <laughs> of the chalice? 
So, so people don't message me about the chalice. <laughs> I've got high, so I, I'll take photos, but at the moment, I've, I was telling you earlier, I've got salinity problems in this bloody. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, pissing me off. So it's, it's low. Salinity's low. So I'm in 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 with by the end of the week, it'll be back up and everything will be fine. But yeah. a couple of corals are looking. It's actually doing all right, but a couple of corals are looking a little bit pissed off at the moment. So give me a week, and yeah. I'll post a photo. There. Well, thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you very much for, for watching, guys. And Ryan, thanks for coming along as ever. And we will see you next week when we might be doing Angelfish. Maybe. Right. As it were. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye,